Prophet, this is amazing. This child here, she's 10 years old. She did not have hearing at all. One ear was completely deaf. The other one had a very slight ability to hear. And they came here to the Miracle Dome. And after she was sprayed on, she's completely healed. She has wow. tests to prove. The doctor has specifically said to take her back to the place that this happened. Make the anang hite do. Make the me ke tamad hai. Make the tamay daang hite. Timo ka do ne? Make the aida ashirwada kara dio ka gal lagdu na kar pati tapas. Aha. Gaman galewa. Oh, galewa tapas apni dhami na hai. Okay. Tapas ye thungi I was like, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going after I removed this, the mother didn't put it back. It was a Beautiful smile. You think why they were among the the so what did this report say, Dr. Noshi? Previous report says the right ear moderate to severe sensory neural hearing loss and left ear moderate severe to severe mixed hearing loss. Now the report says right ear mild to moderate sensory neural hearing loss and left ear mild up to uh, two Fahrenheit moderate. So from sensory. severe? From moderate to severe in both right and left. Now mild to moderate. Wow. Both sides. Praise God. Awesome. Prophet Jerome, more than just words. Prophet of God, this is Geeta and her daughter Oshadi. They have come from Italy for the Miracle Dome opening. And uh, Oshadi says that uh, she had an issue with her monthly issues, the menses. And uh, last Sunday, when you prayed for her, Immediately she started getting it and she's here to glorify God. Also, she says her, her foot, there was a swelling on her foot. Who's, who's Oshadi's? And you had given her a handkerchief. That looks bad. Okay. And as she wrapped this uh, anointed cloth, uh, handkerchief on, on this, she says immediately the swelling went off. She's here to give glory to God. And this is Geeta. She says last Sunday she had come with 300 plus sugar diabetes, very bad acute diabetes. But she says as you prayed for her. The sugar level has dropped to 120. Praise the Lord. Prophet Jerome, more than just words.
prophet of God that this is Sister Kumu. On May 23rd, she had overstretched her ligament on the left ankle. On the 23rd, she had gone to visit her physiotherapist. So the physiotherapist couldn't believe it. This injury, doctors have told her, would take a minimum of three months for her to fully recover. On June 19th, you had ministered to her and she had experienced immediate healing. Do you want to get healed today? Sure. That was overstretched and because it was like the outside part. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. It's correct. like the outside part, not correct, the father. one inside. No, Father, it's, it's correct. It's like the outside. What you said is correct, Father. So it is like here now. This is like a correct, Father. Exactly. Right here. Exactly, that's the base, Father. Right here. Yes, it's father. not here. No, Father. But it's that's there. The same. So I speak healing now. Okay. I rebuke the pain. Be free from this pain. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Now. Thank you. Come. It just happened. May 23rd it happened and June 19th she was completely healed and the physiotherapist and the orthopedic surgeon they met on the 24th the next day were completely stunned by this immediate healing she experienced awesome. after you had ministered. Awesome. Congratulations. Prophet Jerome, more than just words. Dr. Nenoshi, what is bilateral hearing impairment? Both sides of the ear hearing is impaired for 10 years. That means he can't hear? Impaired, not deaf, reduced. What's that? 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 What's this boy's life and this family's life will never be the same. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I want to know how he's feeling. What do you feel? Saturday? Why don't you test him? Praise God. Praise the Lord. Come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. Prophet Jerome, more than just words. Congregation, this is Diara. She's come from Italy. She came here on the 17th of June to Sri Lanka. And on the 19th, she came on the service. She says the left leg was shorter than the right one. And she couldn't bring the legs together. And also, she couldn't bend properly. I 
Can she explain to us what she means by she has been healed? What is the healing she has experienced? Now. Awesome. Can we get her to sit there in that chair? So this is what you could never experience before? Remove both shoes, please. Stretch both your legs. So both legs, look at that. This leg was longer than this one. Yes. That it wasn't like this. And it was only after June Dahanamuni then passe Nanda Munalda. Pedamea Kagalako and Andi Matame Kakulde Kalanka and the Puluangila. Yaki Kunda at the Villa Tibuna Probet, Haridmo Probet, Tetan Tata Tila, Praker and Okota Makon the Kelly Muna, Tuling Isnai Adichakatia, Kata Denunakira. Make a daughter than Nuni. Magi Isnai Adunaha, Tadanisa, Evele Yaknakalagi and Passe. Kakule, Konde, Snayu, Aduna. How do the key can pass? How do the sacred pass? Upathe in the la? You are born like this. Oh, maybe the repeat it chicken egg. Oh, Masa Hathing Ipadune, Tokota oxygen, then a very hindam, Kakula Kotela, Kak Dikune. Yagi Lanka, operation a Kakarla Tipa, our the Tune, the prophet, Etokota, Varadilan, it Kakula Kerla Tipa. Varadilan, it Kakula. Oh, they came a Kerla, they came a Kakula Hari Barata Tibuna. Propet Italia, the Atta Karanda Kilatin operation Nekatama, the muscles Burukar and injection Nekakanama, Oyaga, Radika Kakula, Snau Kapala, Aragana, Ganda, operation Nekat and Salasum Kerlatin, then Yada Hanama, Mata Italia, Ginga, Kissim operation Nekakarandu in Naki. Are you happy with this? Because look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Hallelujah. These things are beyond science. Whenever you see the laws of science suspended, you see the glory of God. This is not humanly, scientifically possible. And you're hearing the testimony from the, the girl's lips. Hallelujah! Bones are growing back. Operations are cancelled. Somebody give Jesus a mighty praise. Prophet Jerome, more than just words. Muhammad Jesus loves you. Muhammad Jesus wants a brother. Unable to bend both knees for four years. Your faith to be in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are so good. You are so good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, you are so good, you are so good. I'm in yourself, nations bow and tremble, you are strong but merciful, you are so good. Mom, address? Mohammed, what has happened? Hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless you. I like that. You think how the mate in the I'm a the No, no, no. Wife, 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 then Then I want to thank them for coming here. Imagine for a Muslim to attend a church service, they had to feel comfortable. So thank you for making this place a comfortable place. <laughs> that has happened to them. They must open their hearts to believe Jesus is God. Prophet Jerome, more than just words. Dr. Nenoshi, what is bilateral hearing impairment? 
both sides of the ear, hearing is impaired for 10 years. That means he can't hear? Impaired, not deaf, reduced. समान <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I want to know how he's feeling. What do you feel? Saturday? Why don't you test him? Prophet Nitisha from Mauritius joined one of our live services via Zoom. Let's talk to Nitisha. Where are you joining Prophet, us from? I'm from Mauritius. The man of God, Prophet Jerome, located her. I brought you on screen to deliver you. Do you believe in prophecy? Yes, I believe. Jesus that you are still getting to know, minister to me. This God you are seeking has been seeking you. And he uses his servant to detach you from things that are overpowering your mind. You're going to experience freedom. The prophet prophesied to her, revealing the stagnation of her life, which had led to her oppression. And this is 2005. I see you moving into a new thing. It is like a location. And from that moment to this date, it has been 17 years. Your life has been stagnant. You're being tormented and it's affecting your sleep. It's affecting the way you eat. And even things that she eats, things are not yes. settling in my stomach. Why am I having indigestion issues? Yes, that's true. That's right true. this very moment, I deliver you by the authority of the Lord Jesus from every influence that is not Christ. Leave this woman now. <laughs> Leave this woman now. Every tormenting spirit of the night. Leave this woman now. Leave this woman now. You demon of oppression, come out of her body now. Jesus delivers you now. This is a deliverance that is taking place. Right now, before your very eyes. Daughter, look at my right hand. You are being delivered now. Jesus is revealing himself to you. Release yourself to this power. You are delivered. Be free now. Under the unction of the Holy Spirit, Nitisha received Jesus into her life and experienced immediate deliverance. Daughter, invite Jesus into your heart. Say, Jesus, come and be the Lord of my life. Jesus, come and be the Lord of my life. If you noticed, she wasn't coughing. No sooner deliverance began, things began to move. <laughs> things began to move. That's how deliverance takes place. And we wipe out every form of congestion. Believe the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Prophet Jerome, more than just words. Prophet, family full of testimonies here. Begin with the father, Ishan. Last Tuesday, Ishan was watching service on Tuesday and he had a severe allergic condition, something to do with the hair dye and he was oozing. His eyes couldn't be open. It was very bad Tuesday. But you had bring him on screen and you had prayed for him. You have some water. Okay, tell your dear mother to go to the kitchen, bring some salt. So, did you bring the salt? 
I speak to the water now. I speak to the salt now. By the unction that's upon my life and by the authority that God has given me as a prophet, I prophesy now the nullifying of this irritation and this allergy in his body. I rebuke this curse, this pain, and whatever is in the blood now. We cancel it out by the authority of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, God wants you well through this healing. Come back to that relationship with the Lord. Come back to a place of faith. Come back to a place of a strong foundation in the things of God. I speak this over your life now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. And here he is testimony to say that he's completely gone, he's completely delivered. So, you're better now. I am feeling well. Jesus is awesome, right? One, two, take the glass out. Three, You are healed now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Tell your tati to take some salt now, put it on his tongue, let him feel it. Nishanta, Lunu Raha, what a theron of the Mevelaga? What a then Niseka Kama Keno, make a make a Lunu, make a Satya at the Vasenma, make a Lunuki in the day water, then Niseka Kama Keno, what a theron of Gishadi, a Vagetamai, what a Sue me Lavena Velave, what a Sue again, what a Niseka Kama Pamino Bagat made a Mevela. It was allergic or Mogodun. Property Gua, the Sikura da Walter, celebrate Kan Bulanka Lanjolodi. Three days from now. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, when you're having lunch, check yourself. Write to us. We want to celebrate with you. three days at a particular time, he will be totally well. And in three days, just as I said, it had happened. And just as I say, it will happen. Prophet Jerome, more than just words. Lynette and Mark, you have something to share with us. Yes. Last month, you called me on Zoom, just talked about uh, my financial situation. If I didn't speak to you, by end of April, all your resources would have been out. Yes, prophet, even I want to go and discuss with the bank about my mortgage. I cannot pay it anymore. Yeah. And I confirmed it and I said, yes, I have to go and discuss with the bank the following week. Don't talk to the bank yet. I pray and declare that your days of asking questions regarding money, they are over. It is happening. Yes. that your day has come. After two days, I was shocked to find the money that was supposed to take more than a month to be sent to me in my account and immediately the following Monday I went and discussed the bank I had my mortgage balance was forty thousand dollars which is like four million Kenya shillings cleared the full mortgage and I don't have the debt anymore and <laughs> finally we have resources to come to to Sri Lanka her feet do not know what it feels like to touch sand so that's what she's crying she's saying I, I can't remember the last time I felt something after 10 years. After 10 years. Thank you, Lord. What do you know? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He makes you whole because of your faith. If we did not pay for TV, that lady would not be here. And we paid for TV because of PJFM Partners. Choose to be a partner and become a partaker of the move of God today. To partner, visit www.prophetjerome.com slash partner. Or for more information, call our faith line on plus 94117774877. This is epilepsy. Deliverance right now. Hallelujah. And the boy doesn't know what's happening to him. 
he cannot control himself because the spirit of god has taken over the spirit of god has taken over the spirit of god has taken over operating all over operating all over his body in the name of jesus jesus in the mighty name of jesus fans ka balavat naam hai o karasi ala අවුරුදු 19ක් මගේ දරුවට මේ ෆිට් එක හැදුණා මම මාසයකට දෙහිකට සැරයක් සාමාන්‍ය විදිහට හැදෙනවා අවුරුද්දක් විතර යනකොට ඉස්පිතාලේ ඉන්නම හැදෙනවා දැන් මේ සභාවකට ආවත් අත උස්සන්නේ අපි ගන්නේ යන ඉදි යනවා දැන් අද දෙවියන් සහසික දිවසේ රියන් තුරි මගේ දරුවා සදහස්ම නිදහස් කරා යක්ෂාත් මෙන් නිදහස් කරා මාත් නිදහස් කරා සන්තෝෂයි මොකද වට දැනුනේ වෙලාවේ නිදහස් ඇඟේ අමාරුව ගියා ඇඟේ අමාරුව ගියා මොනද වට දැනුනේ ඇඟේ අමාරුව हम विलाव के मैं कटा मारूं बगैर तेरे, दें, दें नहीं। Jesus is Lord. Amen. Amen. Jesus is Lord. Prophet Jerome, more than just words. සුදාතන මහන්සි ඔබ ඔපරේට් කරන ඔබ වෙලා සල්ල කර්මයක් කරමින් තිබෙන්නේ the spirit of the lord is ministering to 2016 දෙදාස් දාසේදී the family was going to split පෞල වෙන් වෙන්න ගියා ඔව් එහෙම දෙයක් වුණා ඔබසයි i saw the enemy trying to cause pain in this side of your wife මං දැක්කා ඔබ මාරියා වගේ මෙන්න මෙතන වමෙන් සහ දකුණෙන් වේදනාවක් ඇති වෙනවා this is left side here but here oh and i deliver from this now in the name of jesus jesus pansa ke naam hai out of this body now nahi sare nivartana den mata si hivena va oba ho vishwas karna da do oba de suela ben pulang kiya vishwas karna ma cleansed of all wrong doing jesus pansa ke naam hai sam varadi kriya vak become a fresh family be blessed aashirwad la banna spirit of death come out of this body now marane aatme sare nivartana den Hallelujah hallelujah welcome everyone Woo! to youth revolution service we are absolutely glad to meet you wherever you are joining from across the world just we want to take a moment before we start praise and worship to wherever you are just lift your hands wherever you are across the globe zoom youtube facebook glorious tv wherever you are watching and say father today today is the day That thing we've been talking Lord today is the day make it happen. That miracle Lord today is the day Father change my life. Father I commit it all into your hands. Hallelujah. And just express your gratitude and your love to Jesus wherever you are right now. Maruko selitsila mahayesa tarik celebrok tuna mahayo kazita na hayesa roko mazita na hayetso lo mahayesa. Hallelujah Father we worship you we worship you. Stepping from darkness into light Not by power and not by might Under the grace of the mighty God We are walking in favor We are not ruled by what you see We walk in grace of mercy Under the grace of the mighty God of who we are our days is keep getting better as we rule oh what you prepare for us we are walking in favor under the grace of the mighty god full of his glory 
get out of the shade of who we are Our days just keep getting better As we rule Oh, what you prepared for us You're super right You follow the line and that's our try Under the grace of the mighty God You're yes, super you right You follow the line and that's our right. Under the grace of the mighty God Oh, oh we are walking in favor Yeah, we are walking in favor Under the grace of the mighty God Full of his glory And I'm ashamed of who we are Our days just keep getting better as we rule over what you prepared for us We shout Jesus in the highest 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 We are walking in favor Under the grace of the mighty God Full of the glory And I'm ashamed of who we are Our days just keep getting better As we rule
Hallelujah. Do you know who you are this evening? 1 Peter 2.9 says you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a peculiar people. Amen. Chosen generation, been called for to show his excellence. All I require for life, God has given me, and I know who I am. We are a chosen generation, been called for to show his excellence. All I require. Father, we are here to worship you. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, mercy, oh, 
compassionate God of all the earth Amazing love Amazing grace I bow to you Sing I worship I worship you Oh mercy Compassionate God of all the earth, amazing love, amazing grace, I bow to you.
प्रशांत सावेबा उन वाहन से तो सेलो माहिम है गांव रहे देना मैं बेलावे दी आधे दावस से दे आप इतने दिन आगे जीवित है देवर न वाहन से कराबु बालवत साक्षीयक आप ये बात समग्र बेदा करना हो या डी टेस्टिमनी आई वी वुड लाइक टू शेयर व्हाट गॉड हैज डन इन आवर लाइफ्स विद द ऑडियंस टुडे 
ఆత్మికంగ్రీన్ <laughs> జునే దా హత్ర వెనిద సింహల తరుణ సేవావ విసేం పవత్వపు మా నగమే హాలెలుయ నమస్కార వెడసట అనేది దివ్యాన్వహంస్య అప్పటి దినాగే జీవితే ఫాస్ట్ ఏడ్రియన్ హరహాయ్ స్పర్శకర ఐ థింక్ ఏ సాక్షి బెదాగన్న తమాయ అత దవసేది అప్పటి దిన ఆవే 14th of june we had uh, the singhala uh, youth gathering and uh, pastor edrian was ministering and god touched our lives through pastor edrian and that's the testimony that we are going to share today ఏ దబసేది పాస్ట ఏడ్రియన్ నమస్కార కండాయమే సిటీ ఆయట సేవే కన్న వెలావేది పాస్ట ఏడ్రియన్ క్యూవా మెతన కెనె కిన్న సిహిన సహ దర్శన దకిన కెనె ఐ థింక్ ఏ వెలావేది ఇట ఖాళీ మమ సిహిన సహ దర్శన దకిమిన్ సిటపు కెనె నమూత్ మట ఏ పిలి బంధు వెటహీమక్ తిబునే నహ ఐ థింక్ దేవన్ హన్సే ఏ బలవత్ దేవ దాస ఆహార మట కథా కర ఏక మట కియల హెంగును వెలావేది మమ ఏకట ప్రతిచార దక్కువై మమ కియల and uh, during uh, the ministry time pastor was ministering to the worship team and then he gave a word of knowledge about a person who is uh, seen visions and dreams so that was me and then i responded ఎవెలావేది పాస్ట్ ఏడ్రియన్ మట కథా కరమీన్ ఓహో మట ప్రొఫెసర్ కర దివ్యాన్ మహాన్సేగే వచనే దివ్యాన్ మహాన్సే తులింగ్ ఆపు వచనే ఏ దేవదాస్య మట ప్రకాశ కర ఐ థింక్ ఎవెలావేది పాస్ట్ ఏడ్రియన్ క్యూవ మే దీమనావ దర్శన సహ సిహిన దీ మే దీమనావ తవ వెడి వర్ధన ఏమంటే అనో దివ్యాన్ మహాన్సే పెహదిలివ్ ఏ దేవాల్ మట కథా కరనో ఏ వగేమ ఇక్మనింగ్ మమ ఏ దక్కిన దర్శన సహ సిహిన తులింగ్ ఏ దక్కపు దేవాల్ ఇక్మనింమ సీత వెంటే అనో కేలా దేవ and he prophesied over me and he said uh, uh, the the ability to see visions and dreams will increase in my life and also he specially mentioned whatever you see in your visions will come to pass uh, within few days ఎవెలావేది దేవదాస్య మావ ఆలేపకర దేవదాస్య తులి మట దివ్యాన్ మహాన్సేగే సంప్రేషణే ధనున మట ధనిచ్చ హెంగీమ కేనన మగే శరీరే అతులే పుతుమాకార విపార్యాస్య మట ధనున మగే బడ్ వేదనావక్ ధనున మగే అట్టకాడు అమ్ముతువే ఐక కుడువేలా ఎనో వగే మట ఎవ్వే నీవు హెంగీమక్ మగే శరీరే అతులే మట ధనున అండ్ వెన్ హి వాస్ మినిస్టరింగ్ టు మీ హి అనాయింటెడ్ మీ అండ్ దేర్ వాస్ అ గ్రేట్ ఇంపార్టేషన్ ఆన్ మీ అండ్ దట్ మోమెంట్ i didn't know uh, how to explain that feeling uh, but uh, all over my body i felt the anointing of god and that was a great experience devadasya tulen devan hanse katha kara wagema e idiri sathi kihipay tulade devan hanse e katha karapu hamma dekama e experience ek mama jeevithe labuwa and uh, as the man of god declared within few weeks i started experiencing whatever he prophesied over me దివ్యాన్ హంసేగే దర్శన సహ సిహిన మమ దక్క ఏ వగేమ యం కిసి పూత్కలే గన దివ్యాన్ హంసే పెన్నపు దేవాల్ ఏ సతే తులదీమ ఏ దేవాల్ సిద్ధు ఉనా ఏ వగేమ ఏ మనుష్యాన్ మట సాక్షి దరువ మమ కివ్వ వగేమ ఏ దేవాల్ సిద్ధు ఉనా కెలా అండ్ దేర్ వర్ సర్టన్ థింగ్స్ దట్ ఐ సో ఇన్ మై విషన్స్ అండ్ దెన్ ఐ షేర్ దిస్ దిస్ థింగ్స్ విత్ ద రెలవెంట్ పీపుల్ అండ్ విత్ ఇన్ అ వీక్ Uh, everything came to pass and then they testified about the accuracy of the vision devana asara suti karana mandu unwahanse kina kisi vachanayak bala rahitana wanne and i thank god because every word that comes from him is powerful hallelujah devana asara prashansa veva e davasiti mage addakima mama batik beda ganna kemati and uh, i want to thank god and i would like to share my experience as well and i'm going to tell you what happened to me on that particular day పాస్ట్ ఏడ్రియన్ హెమ తరుణ కటుమ ఆశీర్వాద కరణ మొహతేది మమ హిటి ఓగన్నక తుల వెన్ పాస్ట్ వాజ్ మినిస్టరింగ్ టు ఎవ్రీ మెంబర్ ఆఫ్ ద ద వర్షిప్ టీమ్ ఐ వాజ్ బిహైండ్ ద కీబోర్డ్ మమ స్టేజ్గా కీబోర్డ్ గీ దిద్ది మమ దివ్యాన్ మహా సింగిల్ న్యా స్వామిని మఠాత్ మే ఆలిపే లభాంఠోని mama he sathin ante anni nahe and uh, when i was uh, standing behind the organ i was just contemplating and i was i was asking god 
to give me the same experience that I, I'm not going to go empty handed. I want to experience the same thing. Pastor Adrian Hammer Kinukuruma Sevekala Yunata Pasi Mama stage again Behala Mama Palihatava. Once uh, Pastor finished ministering to everyone, I got down from the stage and then they, then I came towards Pastor. Avit Mage Bari Avasam Mama Hitagata. And uh, with my wife, I stood, uh, stood before him. Irapasi Pastor Adrian Apilangata Villa. Boho Deval Apita Kiva. Then Pastor Adrian uh, came towards us and then he shared many things with us. Irapasi Pastor Adrian Apita Kiva. And he said, whatever I have as a pastor and also whatever we have as pastors, we are going to impart that to you. And as soon as he said that, something happened inside my body and that was uh, uh, an amazing experience altogether. Then I knew that it was the power of the Holy Spirit. I could bear that pain. And then I fell in the presence of God. And after a while, he gave another uh, prophecy and he said whatever God is speaking to your wife you will also hear the same thing he said and exactly the way he said we started experiencing the same thing from that day onwards God is doing uh, Big things in our lives. Hallelujah. Sialuma Gaurave Devianuhan Sita. Every honor belongs to God. Bhamasuti. Thank you very much. A warm welcome to everyone watching, precious youth and young adults. We want to give you an opportunity to serve, to sow your seed to this ministry, to be a part of this mighty move of God. I'm still unemployed, but I have seen results of sowing my seed. I have seen God do amazing things for me. So if you want to be a partner, if you want to partner with this ministry, I urge you and I give you the opportunity to sow your tithe, offering seed. Log in to www.prophetjerome.com forward slash give. If you want to become a partner with our ministry, you can contact the number on our screen. If you want to become a TV ministry angel, you can choose that option on the website. If you, for that option, you can contact plus nine four double one triple seven four eight double seven. If you want to give towards the perfection of the Miracle Dome, please log on to triple w dot miracle dome dash miracle-dome.com forward slash offering. We want to give you an opportunity to serve for this ministry and to witness results in your life. Hello, youth and all the other imposters here today. Um, I hope you're having a youthful evening. So I'm here to be, I'm going to be singing a small song, but first I would like to take a moment to give all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, without whom I am nothing. I'd also like to thank Prophet and Pastor Melanie for the opportunity, Pastor Pio, Pastor Adrian, Pastor Sue, and Pastor Avi and Sim for your continuous guidance and support. So the song is called No One, and Isaiah 44, 6 says, Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first 
and I am the last. And beside me, there is no God. Amen. There is no one that can stand even close to our God. No one above him, no one beside him, and not even one who can stand a little below him. So let's declare that and sing that in this next song. Hallelujah.
somebody shout prophesy prophesy now what time did you come for the service 9:30 you came at 9:30 yes. when did he decide to wear this shirt uday dunne ad uday uday ad uday dunne okay the shirt that i'm seeing there mama e dakina shirt ka is checks ek kotu kotu sahit shirt and it is black and green the lord visited me two days ago and told me but kiwa that there was going to be a thin man is going to be slightly tall and this thin man has wasted his life he oh, is right. going to be the only thing that family is praying for as the master ape paule ekama parameya because if we deal with this one your whole family will be okay me prashna prema sathu thaga mulu paule mandi dahasena and the lord minister to me swamin vasa mana maga penwa you are not quite sure now what to do dan okala hari ga sthirana mokadda karanne kiyala na apine theren da meya gena mokadda because do i get a passport passport ekak gannada send him abroad pitrata ke awana meya then you are dealing with a sickness that he has it was a roga this is depression e vishadaya that causes him to just just be isolated eken me huda kala wenna all alone paniyala and in the last 4 years this has aggravated pau ge avurdu hatara dena ek wadi wela thiyena this is 2018 yes. 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 perfect prophesy 1000 and 18 deda has da hat for you or da hatara this aggravation now mega da wadi wala thiyena and the lord minister to me swami nawasa mana maga pennwa that when he brings this thin man who was going to wear a green and black check shirt kola cut kola saha kalu kotu kamisa kadana me kettu kenawa there going to be two ladies kaantawa denne kintena one was the mother ekkene kamma kena and then there's going to be a little girl e waga tap punchi gyan lome kintena who is this little girl to you kawada punchi your sister Uh, All right. Hallelujah. There is an envelope in my Bible. What the Bible envelope got there now? Bring the one that I have written in red and bring the other one also. That's right. You see this? Abar pehna the maker? I wrote this two days ago. But I was there kali mam kali. It's a sealed envelope. Ek a seal kala thi ne. You see this? Pehna the bade. When did you select this shirt? This morning. And yet God knew two days ago you're going to select. Miracle Dome, Thin Man, Black and Green Checks. Yes. Woo! sickness in the family no future what's this wow. and a wasted life this two days ago all right one day ago the lord said more to me so i wrote another one it is so i wrote another one it is mantau kale kali vaya so i wrote another one read this sunday morning miracle dome thin man green black check shirt felt alone passport two females one little yes yes bro wow. look at that Everything is zeroing in on your boss. Were you never in business? No. Are you happy with your work? No. This is why you should have gone into business because you are not supposed to be doing what you're doing now. By reason of your faith, there's going to be something that starts where he will take you to the next level after you start it. And by the way, you already have the concept. Thank you, Father. Even though you worked for others, it was like you're thinking, thinking. Well, I should start yes, something. Yes, I, I have the confidence, something. but I did not. You have. already not have yes. the confidence, but you also have the concept. Yes. is yes. like uh, yes household. i was planning to do that part. it has to do with the household household yes. like yes. items yes it is like electrical items that's what ah. i'm talking about yes. ah. yes. hallelujah prophesy prophesy premala kaso prabhotra i went into a computer mokad ma computer ekada gaya and i looked at this computer mang computer dia balua but the first computer was old palaveni computer parane ka yes it was old very old computer ita parane ka that's a perfect this is yes. so old it is actually a desktop Eka desktop. It's a desktop. It's a desktop. Yes. Wow. And I went into the files. Mangi the files sold kya? When I went into the files and did a search, I saw a document coming up, and I saw household items. Yes. 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 That's where I'm now. Thank you Lord. Prophet Jerome, more than just work. A germ has entered the left foot through a nail causing swelling and pain. Kotcha kal da? One year. One year no. Doctor kene ko belwe ne? Kya karo? මොකද කරේ මෙහෙ දුන්නා ඒක මාසයක් පාවිච්චි කරන්න කිව්වා ඒ අතර බේත් ඉවරයි පේන් එක තියෙනවා කොහෙද පේන් එක තියෙන මේ සයිඩ් එකේ today this is going to leave you but after this leaves you find yourself in the church you got to be in this main stand in you got so much inside but if you look at your history many captains have not done well volleyball 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 captain
But God's going to put a different grace on you today. Yeah. Captain over finance. Yeah. Captain over your future. But you make Jesus the captain of your heart. Beginning of a great life. Just to prove to you this Jesus. For one year, doctors couldn't do anything, right? With this leg, just touch it once. Lift it. Put it down again. Two. Up. Three. Up. Four. Up. Five. Up. Six. Up. Seven. Up. Eight. Nine. Down. And this time, put more weight on it. The tenth time. Put it down. Put more weight. Put more weight. In the name of Jesus, I yes, command this one year pain to leave now. And I command the infection to leave. Pick the handkerchief. And... Okay. Just walk. Do what you couldn't do. Walk faster. Okay. Now do what you couldn't do. Fast. How did you feel when you were running? No pain. Where is the pain? Nothing. Nothing now. No pain. Please show us how you ran. R run again. Can you do it, please? Yeah. Don't fall. Just run a little. Prophet, we all saw what happened to him. He is reconfirming that he was suffering with this pain for one year. He has no pain at all at this moment. And he has no idea how he got healed. Yes. Prophet Jerome, more than just words. Lardo Zikovano sova entelis at kaventa klevepa dalgavus to voja lovele alu vizeda 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 gaya alu vizeda 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 gaya randu vano vunos to gois randu nano the lions are roaring, the lions are roaring, the lions are roaring in the spirit realm. The lions are roaring, the lions are roaring, the lions are roaring in the spirit realm. Jesus is the Lord of their hearts, and nothing will shake them, and nothing will move. Jesus is Lord of their hearts Oh, nothing will shake them and nothing will move them The lions are this man is roaring in the spirit realm The lions are roaring in the spirit realm The lions are roaring The lions are roaring The lions are roaring in the spirit realm Where I can literally say I don't have anything to correct when it comes to character this man is a whole man, a perfect example of a Christian, a real man of God. The lions are roaring in the spirit realm. The lions are roaring, the lions are roaring, the lions are roaring in the spirit realm. The lions are roaring, the lions are roaring, the lions are roaring in the spirit realm. Jesus is the Lord of their hearts. Nothing will move. Nothing will shake them. Jesus is the Lord of their hearts. Oh, nothing.
nothing will move them and nothing will shake them Lord of their hearts Oh, nothing will move them and nothing will shake them Jesus is the Lord of their hearts Nothing will move them and nothing will shake them Lions are roaring in the spirit realm The lions are roaring in the spirit realm The lions are roaring in the spirit realm the lions are roaring in the spirit Prophet Jerome is a prophet of God When nations will come to hear wisdom from the sons of the soil The lions are roaring, the lions are roaring The lions are roaring, the lions are roaring in the spirit realm oh, oh, oh. That we call him the Lion of Asia. Yeah. And may I submit, it is the Lion of Asia as his boundaries are limited to Asia. No, but because he's the Lion from Asia to the world. That this church will be the greatest tourist attraction of this nation. This region, Asia, Jerome is the name you were given. Jerome Fernando is the name you were given. That name, that power is in store. There is a man of God in Sri Lanka. That the world will know that there is a prophet in Sri Lanka. The lions are roaring, the lions are roaring, the lions are roaring in the spirit realm. The lions are roaring. Jerome is a prophet of God in the name of Jesus. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome, nations of the world. Welcome to our special service, the Youth Revolution Service. Uh, it is God appointed at the right season, in the right moment. You are going to hear, experience something so phenomenal tonight. It is no secret who is in the studio with me. We have Pastor Adrian and Pastor Sue. Uh, they are ready. <laughs> they are ready. They've, they've come with the big guns. I want to take a minute and tell you because of who they are and who they are to a ministry and who they are to all of us here in the studio uh, and the church at large with us. Pastor Adrian and Pastor Sue walked into our ministry approximately 14 years ago, uh, married. They are well blessed. Today they have three beautiful 
amazing children brought up in the light and in the word of god they run businesses they are entrepreneurs while i could say all of these things here is what i want to tell you and what to expect from them tonight they didn't come to this young age overnight they've been through some seasons which truly tested their integrity as a husband and as a wife as parents as pastors they've been tested and today they are trusted they are endorsed by a man of god prophet jerome they've been through some seasons which truly crippled them but they've maintained their temperance they've maintained their character and their charisma they are truly exhibits that we can put out that is who they are how god has pruned them in the years been they've been an amazing blessing to the youth of this church and to the youth at this in this nation they don't let me tell them what they are not they are not self boasters they are not fleshly led they are spirit led children of god and they are truly sons and daughters of this ministry so as they begin to speak and minister i want you to have an absolute open heart you are going to be surprised when when you hear the stories that are coming out of their lips you wouldn't believe that today they made it as pastors you wouldn't believe pastor adrian started at the car park he was the man at a time making sure vehicles in our in our church back then got sorted from the car park he started ushering and back then we had some you know challenging difficult people real challenging people and i remember how pastor adrian administered all of these beautiful individual with much love much love and i can tell you he was tested he was absolutely tested at that time and he passed it i remember how lovingly he would administrate those who came in a wheelchair how he took care of those who in need the poor and the rich alike the man has stood the test and he has a testimony which he will share years goes by i remember when a prophet of god prophet jerome brought them out of the crowds and spoke into their lives about the ministry that god had planned and at that time i'm more certain that they weren't necessarily ready or in in thought of things like that pastor edian was faithful to administrate what we we had as a colombo needs christ service he was the chief man there ensuring the crowds were sorted creating the platform making sure the people are looked after administration is done he's a faithful man you're going to hear how how pastor su has been a mother to many of our youths here secretly ensuring their safety counseling them in countless hours and above all they are extremely prayerful people they love the lord and they love our man of god so nations of the world youth and young adults alike you are in for a treat raise your hope very high as possible you are going to hear the words of christ through a man and woman of god pastor adrian and pastor su tonight ladies and gentlemen
Thank you, Pastor Dilip, for that, for those gracious words and um, warm introduction. Hello, Glorious Church. How are you doing this evening? I hope you are excited. I hope you are expectant. I, I hope you are trusting God to do something phenomenal in your life. My precious wife uh, has a few words to say of her own and uh, she will do that right now. Welcome to the Youth Revolution Service. Where, where lives are going to be changed and destinies are going to be realigned. This is going to be an awesome service. First and foremost, we want to thank God. Jesus is the reason that we are here. And we need to thank the patriarch and matriarch of the ministry, Pastor Jailat and Pastor Wendy Fernando. And I want to thank our awesome, awesome spiritual parents, Prophet Jerome and Pastor Melanie, for all that they have invested in our lives. We are truly grateful. I also want to thank the Vice President, Kushal, and the Chairman of the Glorious Church, Pastor Haret. So, youth, get ready. Keep your hearts expectant, and I hand this over to Pastor Adrian. Well, when I look at my screens, I see the youth and the not so youthy as well. But God is for everyone. He will touch anyone. He will touch everyone. Age doesn't matter. It's all about your heart. And I want, to, I want you to hear us out, uh, our rise to ministry and what um, God has done in our lives. But first, I want to thank God. I want to thank God for this amazing opportunity, for empowering us uh, through the ministry of the Holy Spirit. I want to thank God for raising us. Everything we have is borrowed. Nothing is of our own. And we give all glory and honor to God. And I cannot ever, ever forget my spiritual parents. <laughs> Prophet Jerome, Pastor Melanie. Dad, I thank you for this platform. I thank you for entrusting us with this platform. To stand on this ground that you minister for men and speak to this global audience. So glorious church, you are about to hear what God has done for us, what, what we have experienced, just like that testimony you heard a little while ago, uh, what the Holy Spirit had, did in those people's lives, how they were touched, how they were radically changed. And this, this meeting is all about bringing instant radical change, a revolution. And I want to speak to you about what God can do, will do, we are a church where we can, we can without a doubt say at the end of the service that there will be transformation. We can say without a doubt that there will be a move of the Holy Spirit because God is in this church and God is in this studio because the anointing of God is permeating in this place. This place is pregnant with the presence and the power of God. Glory to God. As, as youth, um, perhaps the most uh, ask question or uh, often what I hear is um, oh, what does my future hold? Uh, is this all that life has to offer? Uh, does uh, God have more for me? And these are often questions we hear from, uh, from the youth, from, from the young adults, from many people because some of them have gone through life and, and they think that this is all there is to life. Am I, am I, am I really do, you know, in the right place? Or, or do I need to change? Uh, is there a better me? Will change actually expose a better me? These are some of the things we hear from the young adults. We hear it from the youth. We hear it from the not so old. We hear it from the not so young. And something that is often on, 
on many people's uh, minds. Nothing, nothing wrong in that. Uh, I had these same questions that were swirling around me for many, many years. And I felt that way as well. So uh, there's nothing wrong in feeling that way. I remember before I came to this blessed, glorious church, um, in those days uh, when we had uh, visiting evangelists and, uh, and, where, and other people, I, I, I used to find out uh, who, the, the places they used to hold their meetings. And I used to go to almost every meeting wanting to know if God had more for me, if there was a better me, if, there, if I could be more in the kingdom of God, if I could do more for the kingdom of God. And this was something that was always on my mind. So I used to, I used to run to every meeting. I used to go to every, to every prayer queue. I used to go every time there was an altar call, I used to be there. I used to wait for everyone to prophesy over me and tell me what God had in store for me. This was a life I lived until I walked into this church. I was certain, I was certain without a doubt that God had more for me. That the world that I was living in uh, and what I was thought to believe in, I always knew there was more to, be, more to all of this. And this was a constant battle in my mind. Because I wanted to experience what the Bible spoke about. I wanted to experience what I saw the great evangelists performed and what they did on TV. I, I, I wanted to know if this God was real. I was certain that I can achieve more and be a better me than what I perceived. And this was a constant battle in my mind. Together with my wife. I was certain that there was more to God and life than what was preached in the traditional churches. I come from a Roman Catholic background. My wife came from a Buddhist background. And, and we used to just attend church for the sake of going to church. And, and, uh, and that was it. And, and I thought, okay, this is it. And there is... Uh, no more to this than just, uh, you know, three songs and a hymn and a, and a sermon. But I just knew in my spirit that there was more. I just knew. I just knew that there was more for me. I was convinced that, that we could actually have a deeper relationship with God experience what I saw on TV channels through great evangelists. And I, I wanted to be a part of them. But here is little me, together with Sue and our kids, not knowing how we could achieve that, not knowing how we could be a part of it, not knowing if we were actually worthy for God to use us in the way that we saw that others were being, were being used. I lost my brother, my younger brother, three days before his 21st birthday. And it was then that life took a change. It took a turn. It changed in such a way that God began to point us in a direction that we never saw before. So for 12 years, we attended a church, a charismatic church, a full gospel church, call it what it may be, a church similar to this. So for 12 long years, uh, we were under a blessed man of God and we continued to go to that church. I lost my brother, so we were introduced to a church and and I thought I had found Jesus in that church. So we continued faithfully for 12 long years. Now I'm going somewhere with this. So please hang on. For 12 years, I thought I was in the right place. We thought we were in the right place. Doing the right thing. And this was the life that God had for us. We thought 
This is it. We are in a brilliant church. Everything is good. And I thought, okay, that's it for you, Adrian. That's it for you, Sue. For 12 years, we didn't realize that we were deceived into believing that the church we faithfully attended was God's plan for us. And change was not a necessary necessity. Because we were happy there. Everything seemed really good. But little did we know that we were deceived. It may surprise you to hear that in spite of going to a good church, that we were deceived. Yes, we were deceived. We thought that was the place, that we thought that was the best place. We thought that was all God had for us. For 12 years, we believed and accepted that life was meant to be lived that way. And that was all that was available. Even though we faithfully attended church, we were still in the world. We were part of the world. Church was just, just going to church. That's the best way I can put it. There was no deep relationship with God. There was no fellowship with God in the way that I wanted it. But I, we, were happy. I used to, in spite of faithfully being devoted to God, consume spirits of another nature. And I thought that the smoke that came out of my mouth and the nostrils carried the presence of God. I hope you know what I'm saying. I hope you are tracking with me. I thought, this is it. This is life. I was a man of unclean words. I was the live wire of every party. Trust me. People would just simply invite me to just hear me speak all the filth that came out of my mouth. I used to be in second to the music. I was the largest noise back there because I was so intoxicated. The words that came out of this mouth, oh, only if you heard it, beloved church, you wouldn't want me speaking to you. But then that was the world that we enjoyed. That was the life we enjoyed. Those were the friends we had who enjoyed our presence because we, we, we were of unclean words and we, we entertained them with such. I can sell, tell you so much. I can go on and on and on, but I can tell you stuff that we, you, you will flip. But this is not the platform to do that. So I will refrain and restrict uh, the deeper and the dirtier things I did in my life uh, for another day and when you probably personally meet me in Sri Lanka because we are speaking to the local and global church. One day, I'm certain we will all meet at the Miracle Dome and we will have an amazing uh, revival service and that is on the cards. So please be expectant. Please be expectant. Our lives took a drastic turn, to a turn when we entered the glorious church. Twelve years we were in this church and due to the absence of uh, of a, a midnight service my mother said you know what Adrian there is a church just up the road why don't you visit it uh, and uh, they do have a midnight service so myself and my family we, we tagged along with her not far away actually it was walking distance and I never knew the church was there for so many years for 12 years I probably I never realized that but this was a moment of unraveling. This was a moment of direction. Unknown to me, God was setting me up. 
And I want to thank God for using my mother. If you are with your parents, youth, listen. Honor your father and your mother. Listen to them. Obey them. Honor them. Because they are placed in your life for a purpose and a reason. Don't rebel against them. Because you will never know what God will do through them. I want to speak to you. I said so much. But how did our lives change? Pastor Edwin and Sue, you didn't tell us how our lives change. How we are on this platform right now. How we are speaking to you. How are we ministering to you? How did this happen to a man and a woman like you? I'm not the only one who has been as naughty as I told you. My wife has her share of it as well. But we have no time to share that. Trust me, when you meet us, you will hear more about it. So I want to present to you a scripture as to how we were radically changed. So Pastor Sue is going to read this scripture and I want you to listen carefully. Can I have Acts 9, 1 to 5? Meanwhile, Saul was uttering threats with every breath and was eager to kill the Lord's followers. So he went to the high priest. He requested letters addressed to the synagogues in Damascus, asking for their cooperation in the arrest of any followers of the way he found there. Can I have it back on screen, please? Do bear with me. Okay, so I'm going to reread this. He requested letters addressed to the synagogues in Damascus, asking for their cooperation in the arrest of any followers of the way he found there. He wanted to bring them, both men and women, back to Jerusalem in chains. As he was approaching Damascus on this mission, a light from heaven suddenly shone down around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Who are you, Lord? Saul asked. And the voice replied, I am Jesus, the one you are persecuting. Okay. You may be wondering, um, what has this scripture got to do with us? You might be thinking, what has Saul, who was later in or later on Paul's transformation, got to do with the two of us? You all know the story about Saul. He was persecuting Christians. And on his way to bring more to Jerusalem, the Lord met him on the way to Damascus. He encountered Jesus. The Bible continues to tell us that as he picked himself up, he realized that he was blind, that he couldn't see. And he received instruction to go to a place and that, that there will be a man called Ananias who will come, pray for him and that he will receive sight. Most of you know the story of Saul who later became Paul who was the, one of the greatest followers of Jesus. Wrote many books of the Bible he was instantly changed because of an encounter that he had with Jesus.
So what has that got to do with us? Just hold on. In Acts 2, 14 to 41, we will not go to scripture, but let me paraphrase and summarize. The Bible speaks about Peter on being baptized with the Holy Spirit. He boldly rises and speaks to the Gentiles and preaches to 3,000 people. He adds by his preaching and his boldness, 3,000 people who didn't know Jesus are added to the church. All because he met the Holy Spirit in the upper room a few scriptures back. If you look at David, a young shepherd boy looking after his father's sheep. My Bible tells me that in 1 Samuel 16, 13, as God sends a prophet to the house of David, my Bible speaks and he says that as David stood with his brothers, Samuel the prophet, he took a flask of oil, I'm reading from the NLT, and he anointed David with the oil. And my Bible tells me that the Spirit of God descended upon him powerfully. And from that day onwards, David's life changed. He went on to slay Goliath. And he began to do great exploits for God. All three of these scriptures that we just read speaks of various experiences these men of God had. And how they were instantly changed. But Pastor Adrian, you still didn't tell us what happened to you and so. Isn't that what you were asking? You are going on, but what happened to you? Let me say this to you. Real transformation and change is not as a result of you attending a church. Did I shock you with that? Real transformation and change is not because you will attend an amazing church. You can go to a church for as long as you want, like we did, and see no tangible change. Trust me. We have been there. We have I'm speaking to you our life experiences. I'm placing before you reality. I'm placing before you our testimony. I'm placing before you what God really did in our lives. Sudden, real, tangible, radical transformation comes when you meet the Holy Spirit in your church. It comes when you meet the Spirit of God in your church, beloved people. Glorious church, listen to me. You can go and you can listen to the best hymns. You can listen to the best music. You can listen to the best preaching. But if your church is not Spirit-filled, you will learn or experience very, very little. Trust me. It comes. Change comes when the man of God you are under releases the anointing over you and through impartation. It happens when your man of God's preaching of every word and that comes out to his mouth is filled with the spirit of God and the anointing. It happens when the atmosphere of your church and the building is, is pregnant, is, is heavy with the anointing and the service uh, is, is, is so powerful that signs, wonders and miracles begin to flow through the preaching and the moment you step into that church 
and when the church is filled with the presence of the Holy Spirit. This is the glorious church as you would have experienced. Right now we are broadcasting to you around the world from a studio. When you, when you visit the Miracle Dome, you will, you will experience what I am talking about. When you walk through those doors, you will feel the atmosphere change. The power of God filling the air and touching people. When you walk through those doors, you feel the anointing and you will sense the healing. You will feel the very powerful presence of God in the Miracle Dome. Amen. The same is experienced in the story. It's, it's difficult to emulate. It's, it's difficult to project what you will feel in, 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 a, in a contact ministry. All of our ministry to the youth is contact ministry. So right now, because I cannot meet you, we are obviously speaking to you globally from, from the studios. But still, if you are under the sound of my voice, and if you hear me, and if you hear, and if you hearken to my voice, and if you and if you will open your hearts to receive this evening, you will experience the Holy Spirit in your rooms, in your dining table, if wherever you are Amen. under the sound of my voice, you Amen. will experience the power of God as we feel it right here, right now. Amen. But still. I'm tormenting it and with you of not telling you what happened. Now let me share to you what really transpired in our lives. On that eventful night that we walked into this glorious church. It was then King's Revival Church. Now we are the glorious church. I walk in with my mother. And I stand and the worship continues. And as the praise and worship continues, I begin to feel a presence on myself. I begin to feel love like I never experienced before. My body begins to vibrate. Tears begin to roll down my cheeks. An unusual experience. I couldn't understand what was happening to me. I couldn't fathom. I didn't know. Because no one had told me. Twelve years and I didn't Realize or understand what this was all about. No one had taught me. But yet, I'm experiencing this. So, I look back. And I put it down. To an air conditioner that I was standing right in front. And I thought. It, the shivering, shivering is because of the air conditioner. Because it is too cool. And I thought the weeping and the tears are because of the emotional praise and worship that was going on around me. So I know that fact. But I wanted to come back for more. I like the church. A small church with about 100 people. But yet I like the preaching. I like the praise. I like the worship. And I was drawn. But the next time I come with my family, I make sure that I don't sit or stand in front of that air conditioner. I stay clear of the ACs. And I stay in a place where there, there ain't no wind. Nothing. And the service continues. And again, midway through the service, I begin to feel this cloak around me. I begin to feel fire on my body. I begin to feel electricity run through my muscles and my veins. I begin to weep and shake uncontrollably. And I realized and I was reminded that this is the Holy Spirit of God. That the Holy Spirit is upon me 
and his power is flowing through me and his love is enveloping me and God is touching me and God is seeking me and God is drawing my attention towards him and the, his, his spirit is in me and this amazing, amazing moment it, it lasts for a few minutes and I only wish it lasted the entire service and for the first time in my life I get to know the Holy Spirit of God just like Saul did just like Peter did I encountered the Holy Spirit in this church and my life began to change I began to be convicted of things that I was doing I began to be convicted of my old self and I couldn't go back to the, to the drinking and all the other stuff because now a holy God has entered me, has begun to dwell in me and I be, because his love was greater than what the world had to offer me. And I just surrendered my life to God. I surrendered complete and I said, Lord, use me. I will serve you until my last breath. I will, I will be your vessel. I will do anything. I don't know anything. I'm an unlearned man. I, I don't know the scriptures. I, I don't know who the Holy Spirit is. But teach me your ways. And I will give you my life. And I said, Lord, here I am. Take me and use me. This was my transformation. In an instant, everything that was not of God every cloud of darkness left me and I was transformed into another like Saul was, like Peter was, like David was. I was transformed. Once I was seen and experiencing what these men in the Bible encountered. For once I was experiencing and I was getting to know the Holy Spirit that the scriptures spoke about. Because we only read but there is nothing that will beat and experience people. There is nothing like you experience experience in God there is nothing like that experience and I am praying and hoping that you will have that same experience even though you are not physically here that you will have that same experience like that precious couple said when I had when I experienced you you when you see the video you will understand oh my God is this real and that was my transformation and now Pastor Sue she, she used to be always seated at the back of the church because I was ushering and doing all this stuff. I was mostly in the front. But she used to be always at the back of the church and right at the back. And this is her story. Listen to it. Thank you. I'm going to encourage you, youth and young adults and even the rest of the global and the local church. You know, we are so thankful that we have a prophet in our lives. Because if I could have turned back the clock and redo my youth, it's one thing that I would have loved to change. You are so blessed. You are blessed because of this church and for the prophet of God in your life. You know, speaking to you, realigning you and prophesying over you. You don't, please never take that for granted because we never had it. When I see my husband here speaking to you, I'm going to be ruthlessly honest. It has always been my prayer. It has been my prayer because I know how much of a worldly man he was. The nightclubber he was, the party pooper he was. And he was being ruthlessly honest. I know that while he was talking to you and speaking his heart out that he was reminiscing. You know, he really felt what he felt. And... These were the changes that I had prayed about because at that time I had only my elder son and my daughter and I remember uh, they used to be kept back at home and we used to go out, we used to party every Friday, Saturday and Sunday. My house used to be full of people and this was the change that I had prayed for to see my husband encountering Jesus and the radical change that happened to him. 
So let me tell you now about my encounter. After I married and I settled down with the business, you know, I took my role seriously as a mother and as a businesswoman. And I used to allow him to do most of the church work and the ushering and everything. I used to take a back seat. But I remember in 2012, back then when Prophet had three prophetic nights, it was in the Mount Lavinia church, that was our home church back then. And on the third night, I think this was, yes, it was on the third night. Uh, I was really moved for the previous two nights. And I'm usually a very silent person, just like Adrian said. I used to sit mostly at the back and I used to be there. Very content, very happy. But then something happened that night. I remember when Prophet called out and said, those who want to experience the Holy Spirit, Please walk up to the altar. And I can tell you, I was literally just pushed out of my seat. And I just stood there. And one thing you must know about me is I have always loved children. And I feel very heartbroken and sorry when I usually see the orphans on the street, the children who have no meals and who are so poorly clothed. It used to break my heart and my one prayer used to be, Lord, give me enough one day that I can eradicate this poverty and I can do something more for the children. It has always been my desire and that is why I guess from the children's ministry I was, you know, put later to the youth. So coming back to my story, that was one day I was really expecting and I said, Lord, I want something new. I want something radical. I don't want the same old thing. I want something to change in my life. I was tired and fed up of the old me. I said, I want something new. And I remember I stood at that altar and when prophet came and stood, I had raised up my hands and I was yielding to the Holy Spirit. And I said, I need something, God, tonight. I'm not going to leave this place till I have something new. And when prophet prayed over me, I just got thrown, maybe about two to three feet back. And I am being really honest when I tell you, something went through my mouth and into my belly. And I didn't know what happened because I was knocked out. And that is when he prophesied over me and he said about the crusades. And that was my encounter with the Holy Spirit. That was a radical change in me. I was not the old Sue, the one who loved to stay back and not want to come out and speak. The Holy Spirit does something through you. It's a radical change. It's that encounter with Jesus that truly changed my life. And I thank my man of God, my prophet, for speaking and prophesying over me on that day. So as you listen to this service, I want you to be very sensitive and be sensitive to the man of God when he's speaking. Try to pull things out because there is a pulling out. Certain things you have to pull out from this man of God because when you know the radical change that has happened in his life, you would want that too. So over to you, Adrian. Okay. Glorious church, you have heard our story. I know people love to listen to stories. I know that many of you are many miles apart. You are away from us. But as long as you hear us, as long as you hear my voice, as long as you hear Sue's voice, you can receive where you are. As we prepare for worship, and after this worship I will minister as the Lord leads, I want you to open your hearts. I want you to prepare to receive the Holy Spirit. I know on, on many an occasion that we have ministered through this platform about the Holy Spirit. But with the Holy Spirit, there is always something new. See, the Holy Spirit is a gift. And if you don't have the Holy Spirit in the volume and levels that you must have as a Christian, 
you will live a very, very boring life. This evening, we are, while we are aware that we are ministering to youth and we are looking for radical change, radical change comes when God touches you. And the same way that God touched us, He will touch you. He will touch you. Only if you will believe. See in John 14, 15, it says, Jesus says, John 14, 15, Jesus says, If you love me, obey my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate who will never leave you he is the Holy Spirit who leads you into all truth the world cannot receive him because it isn't looking for him and doesn't recognize him but you know him because he lives with you now and later will be in you who are you seeking this evening, glorious church? Like me, like Sue, are you looking for the Holy Spirit? Because He is seeking you. His eyes go to and fro. He wants to see who loves Him. He wants to reveal who Jesus is to you. When you meet the Holy Spirit, the Bible, the scriptures, Jesus, all becomes so real. You cannot go back to your old ways. You cannot be your old self. You cannot do the things that you used to do because you will feel this conviction within you when God is displaced. You will begin to sense a leading. You will be begin to sense a guiding. You will begin to sense God in His fullness dwelling within you. You will begin to sense the sicknesses you have live in you. You will begin to sense and you'll be able to do things that you couldn't do before. You'll, be, you'll reach levels and doors that were thus close for you will begin to open because God now dwells with you. The old you is gone away and there is a new born again you. So I hope as you connect with the worship and we prepare to come to minister that you will open your hearts that our testimony what God did with us in real time in real life that you will experience that you will manifest it through your life there is healing in this place today. There is prophetic guidance in this place today. There is a leading. There is direction. All you have to do, wherever you are, from whatever location you are, that you ask God. You sit, you tell God, speak to that man of God. Open his eyes to my situation and you will see God speak through us. So as you prepare your hearts in your home, I would encourage you, not to be disturbed I would encourage you to increase your volumes I would encourage you to raise your hands in worship I would encourage you to listen to worship I would encourage you to be connected to the anointing that's in this place flowing through the airwaves into your living rooms into your lives so worship team over to you Your ladder will be greater than your past You will be blessed More than you could ask Despite all that has been done The best is yet to come And your ladder will be greater than the rest 
declaring Your ladder will be greater than your past Sing, You will be blessed You will be blessed More than you could ask Despite all that has been done The best is yet to come And your ladder will be greater
The lions are roaring in the spirit realm. 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 Yeah, yeah. I hope you are connected with the worship. Connected. See, worship connects you with God. It's important that you participate. You are not here to look at us. You are not here to just to have a good service. Because God wants to do something in your lives. And as the worship began, in fact, before even I came here in the realm of the spirit, I saw someone in handcuffs. You were in handcuffs. And I believe that it is because of reason or cause of because either you have had a problem with the law or you are representing someone who is in prison. So whoever that is, you can, you can send us a message and we will read it up on the screen and we will pray for you. Handcuffs. You are chained. And you are on this platform. Either it's a mother who is concerned about a son who is having this challenge. Your problem is with the law. And you are here. In the realm of the spirit. Again. As a young lady, your thoughts border on suicide. Your thoughts border on the sui on suicide. The argument that you had with your parents, the life that you are leading, and God sees you, and God wants to speak to you. If you are bold enough. You can send us a message or raise your hand and you will be, we will bring you up on screen. You are in this place. As the worship continues, I want you to connect, connect with the worship. I want you to ask God, bring your requests before God. Bring your requests before God. I can do nothing. If you are not hungry, nothing will happen. And we will pray at the end of this that you will receive the Holy Spirit. In fact, you don't need to be prayed for. Even in, in the worship, you will like me. God will touch you. I want you to receive that. So as the worship continues. I see angels everywhere. The Holy Spirit moving in his place the presence of god rearranging destiny the power of god is active in our midst miracles it's happening right here right now There's another road there. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Chains are broken. And I will receive it. I believe it. And I receive it. It's my 
to video games and computer games it has been worrying you because he is very antisocial does not like to move around with people much tends to be very moody and takes offense very easily has very little friends and most of the time depression and suicidal are his thoughts so i speak to you mother to encourage you after today's service believe in the radical change believe it and receive it i pray in the mighty name of jesus that the chains are broken and that that mind is free of torment because video games there is something evil behind it we all know that so i break the power of the video games too much of the computer use i break it and i stop it today in the mighty name of jesus believe me when i tell you today mother you will testify that it is over and that your anxiety and anxiousness for your son that your son will come to the saving knowledge of christ and things will change for you amen receive it because it is your miracle today can i also have katie spell the win hi katie can you hear me yes i can i know you and i know your pastor sandra is an issues daughter But ever since the screens were in front of me the Lord was speaking to me about you. There is something Katie that you want. Something deeper Katie. You want to just draw out of today's message. You want this radical change Katie. There is something that you are asking God. Something more Lord. I need something more. I am just tired of the old things. ask him because i can see you in public speaking kitty you are in public speaking i can see you being an effective communicator the english language is going to be your forte i see you on stages i see you doing interviews Is this your heart's desire, Katie? <laughs> so it is not by accident. I've known you from Sunday school. I've known you from youth, but I never knew that this was your desire. Because you are asking God You're saying after today's message God I want this revolution I want the change and you will be effective in revolution You will be a catalyst in society 
and as you come into youth and as you grow along in youth you are going to be a force in the youth your voice is going to be heard kitty you are not a person that can be silenced and i speak to you that from today you are on that mountain top life you are going to be an influencer people around you are going to look at you and they're going to see the god that you serve you are going to be the live wire in your home you are going to set standards in your home you're going to raise that bench up so high you are a change maker you are going to do something different for jesus there is a different flavor in you kt and go into the line of communication because that is where you're going to excel public speaking and communication performance arts is your key i bless you in the name of jesus can we have uh, nitisha on the screen nitisha can you hear me nitisha it's nitisha right hello there you go can you hear us you need to unmute your mic did she freeze up okay let's bring her back when she has a better connection so i released two words of knowledge i don't know if you have responded but you are here unless you respond i cannot pray for you so i'm waiting to hear from you i want you to no matter where you were in this place as you watch us i want you to connect in spirit if you don't connect you'll be just expecting us to say things and that's not going to happen i want to pray for someone who are, if anyone is standing in proxy for a person here for cancer i want you to uh respond i want you to you know we can put a show of hand so uh, who, who who is here yeah you you your your problem is you're battling with cancer and the words of knowledge i believe those people are here can we see the papers are not very clear but uh, is there any way they can uh, respond if it's can you type can you type out if it is because uh, the screens are it's difficult to read if it's if it's that Is Natisha still here or has she gone? Moko se kaza tara zati kazi kazati kol shotro moko se matoro moshe kazi Can we move the screens? Can the screens just move and I want to pray for the sick. Shirani uh, Gunaratna, can we have her on screen please? She's standing in proxy for someone. Okay, let me see. can you okay enlarged pro, whatever enlarged prostate hernia with pain i should do a surgery i pressure you're standing in proxy for someone shirani i can't hear you will you unmute your mic please no 
Nope. Okay. For my husband. This is your husband. What is his name, please? Sunil Gurugatne. Will you believe God to heal your husband right now as we pray? Yes. So, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I want you to look at my hand, Shirani. I want you to receive the anointing that's coming through this screen and this camera right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I command that every, that this enlarged prostrate will return to normal. I command that hernia will return to normal. I command that eye pressure will return to normal. As a result of the anointing and the power of God that is present in this place and at this service. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare and decree healing over Shirani's husband, God. Father, may, you, may he be healed. May his healing be quickened. And by the time the next service is due, God, may she have a testimony for her husband. In Jesus' mighty name, I declare and decree this. So as the worship continues, I want you to expect more. So worship team over to you. All the heavens shout your praise. Beautiful is our God. The universe will sing hallelujah to you our King. Hi. Can you unmute because I just can't hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. What 
do you want today anuhasa um i just want to know whether i uh, whether my life whether my pathway is correct i always pray to lord whether my life is a uh, correct path whether i'm going on all right while listening to you your spirit is very heavy you're carrying a lot of hurt anuhasa a lot of hurt a lot of rejection that has come your way sometimes the rejection is from your very own I want you to know daughter that the love of God is real. It's tangible. God loves you with an everlasting love. My Bible tells me even if your own mother forsakes you, God will never leave you. You have to know whose child you are. The identity that you carry. You are the daughter of the most high God Anuhasa. You should never be affected by what is around you the circumstances. I declare over you receive it today that you are on an upward hill climb that nothing no one will ever hurt you again that the rejection that comes from your very own that you are unable to bear anuhasa is finished from today. I want you to connect with the youth ministry. There is somebody here for you to reach. You must know you are never alone. There is somebody for you. We are there for you. If ever you need anything, you can just type call the faith line and there is somebody to serve you. You must know you are never alone. God loves you. and i don't want you to ever undergo that rejection again you are loved with an everlasting love you serve a living god i pray the peace of god over your life on us today that this pain will leave you today in the mighty name of jesus that your life is going to do a 180 degree shift you are never going to be the same person again I declare and I decree this over your life that you have the mind of Christ that you are going to be a joyful person that the tears are going to stop today I bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Amen Can we have a daily online I believe her name is Odelia that's right Hello. Can you hear? We can't hear. Hello. How are you doing? Where are you uh, watching us from? Uh, my parents' bedroom. <laughs> In Malaysia. Um My wife is whispering something to me but uh, Do we know you? Yes. You have been here? Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Pacifica's daughter. Pacifica's daughter, is it? Yes. Oh. But I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. And I just want to speak this over you. I didn't recognize you. I didn't know it was you. But I see this. I'm not saying this because you who your dad is. but i'm saying this because of who you are i'm saying this because of what god is about to do with you i'm saying this because of what you carry i'm saying this because of what god is telling me so delia yes remember and know this day that god's eyes are on you that god will use you mightily as much as he will use your father amen that your ministry is predominantly 
geared and focus on marketplace ministry that is i'm talking about evangelism i'm talking about evangelism where you will you will speak to the the people in the business world and and the people outside and and draw them to christ because you have a way with your voice you have a way with your oratory skills you have a way with the way you talk because the way you talk people will gravitate towards you and they will come to know and love christ your job is to add people to the church and i and even as i speak to you i see music in your life i see the grace for music i see the grace for singing i see the grace for worship and god will 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 begin to build you and to raise you and empower you and and take you to dimensions and levels that you have never seen or been to before i speak from a place that you have not been to as yet i speak from a place that you have yet to go to i speak from a place that you haven't heard as yet i speak from a place that god shows me where he wants to take you and where you will be odelia so your life is going to change radically as a result of this meeting and as a result of you hearing through me what god wants to say to you amen how amen. do you connect with this how do you connect with what i said does any of this mean something to you tell this unbelieving people around you what it all means <laughs> oh my gosh i am grown up in a family where we talk about finances and i'm very exposed to uh finances and things of that like businesses and this is like wow <laughs> i cannot wait Amen. i cannot wait so <laughs> uh, and the part about singing uh wow i'm like i i that wow because i love to do i love worship i connect with god a lot uh during worship and during singing time so this is this is true to that <laughs> awesome awesome i didn't know who you were i i, I you kept i kept seeing you and uh, and because it is it is the way you connected to the service and then the lord began to show me things so again it's a lesson for everyone else here It's not that the anointing is not here it's how you connect Amen. so learn from this young lady i didn't know who she was until i brought up on the screen and my wife said you know let's pass the fikes daughter <laughs> it's the way you connected it's because god sees your heart and god will do amazing exploits with you in your nation of malaysia Amen. and you will impact you will influence many who come into contact with you and god will even use you to preach and to teach Amen. and raise the younger generation in your church in malaysia through the global glorious church awesome odelia awesome thank you so much you're welcome so as the worship continues i release some words of knowledge you are here don't be stubborn i want you to connect so because it builds up faith says so the word continues let's take it away guys hallelujah
have a faith online please can you be enough faith hello faith unmute yourself can you hear Hi. us we can't hear you as yet can you hear me now yes we can hear you loud and clear Hi. where are you connecting from faith malaysia <laughs> oh another person from malaysia <laughs> so it looks like uh, Malaysia is on God's heart this evening. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Faith, I want to tell you what the Spirit of the Lord tells me. Faith, I see you as a kingdom financier. I see you as a person sowing into the kingdom of God. I rarely say such. But from the moment I kept seeing you on the screen and then the Lord began to minister, I said, what can I tell her, Lord? And then he said, son, she is a kingdom financier. Maybe, maybe you may not have the adequate finances to do what God is calling you. Maybe, maybe. But your goal, your, your, your heart is for kingdom financing. And when I say kingdom, not only to, to the church, if you're connected to this church or to this ministry, that's a different story. But I also see you helping the less fortunate. I see you helping the poor. I see you helping orphanages. I see you helping towards the finances that are so required to run those institutions. And somehow this brings you a great joy. This brings you uh, 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 a happiness uh, that I cannot put into words. But that's what God is calling you to do. So in the name of Jesus faith. I declare and I decree this day. That your bonds will overflow with money. Amen. That you will have so much. That you will hold so much. That, it'll, that you will not be able to contain the floodgates of heaven. That you will not be able to contain which God puts into your hands. That you will not be able to contain. Nothing will restrict you from, from sowing to the kingdom and helping the less fortunate. Because that brings you great joy. It brings you great happiness. So Father in the name of Jesus, I ask you that you will enable her, that you will empower her to do that which you have called her to do. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus loves Amen. you, Faith. He loves you more Very than safe. you understand. He loves you more than you can imagine. Why would I be saying something of this? Does it make any sense? If it is, would you please share that with us? Thank you, Pastor. Um, well, uh, the first thing that you mentioned about the financing thing, I would like to confirm because Prophet Dad prophesied um, at the first IVP that my millions are coming. Oh. So you are confirming what he said. <laughs> and praise the Lord. <laughs> and uh, I have been um, experiencing a supernatural increase in my finances. I'm a fighter and a sower with the ministry, and I'm also a partner with the ministry. Praise the Lord. And I'm so grateful to Prophet Jerome and Pastor Melanie for doing everything that they're doing here i'm so grateful and i'm experiencing increase in fact today i just shared a testimony with pastor fikert about this increase that i'm experiencing and all glory to god and the second thing that you mentioned about um god loves me so much um thank you for reminding me of that um uh, i'm not married yet <laughs> and so i have been believing for a spouse and what you said um reminding me that god loves me so much and and i'm loved and i'm accepted thank you thank yes. you thank you for sharing your heart uh, faith see i walk under the grace of my prophet so what i what he has told you i have just told you again so that's just grace i minister from his platform it's the grace it's the grace and I'm so glad that I have been able to reconfirm and, and reiterate what he has been saying. It happens often. So at least now I know that I am walking in the right path. 
So thank you to Prophet Jerome. Thank He's you. Watching. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Faith. You are going to yes. do amazing things. I also want to speak yes. to um, Sharon and Roshane. Hello. You look surprised. Sharon and Roshan. Can we have them on screen? Hello, how are you? You don't mute. Hi. Do I know you? Yeah, our first uh, meeting was our Raise Hallelujah meeting. Uh, okay. YouTube. So you are connecting from Sri Lanka? Yeah. <laughs> Is that correct? Yes. Awesome, awesome. Are you both sisters or? Yes. Beautiful. So Sharon and Roshan, when I kept looking at you, I began to see in the realm of the spirit, both of you serving God. Both of you serving God. Now listen to me. Both of you serving God. I see music in the two of you. In both. It's like, one would compliment the other. And I see you in worship. I see you, I see you playing instruments. I, I see you doing things for the kingdom of God. So as a result of you being at this meeting, I am confirming, I am saying, I am prophesying, I am declaring, I am decreeing, I am calling forth, I am speaking forth into existence that which you have seen and not seen as yet that which you can do but you couldn't do now you will be able to do Amen. God is about to do amazing things to the two of you God is about to lift you and raise you raise the expectations as you as you connect with this ministry and as you connect to the to the ministries within this glorious church you will begin to see God raising you God empowering you, God touching you. Can you tell me why am I saying all these things for those to hear? What is the what I told you? What does it mean to you? Can you confirm anything I just said? If there is anything to confirm. Actually, um, we, um, I started uh, doing pastor serving last last uh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can, hold on, hold on. Can, can you say that from the start? Say it again. Um, last Sunday, uh, I it was my first day of pastor serving. Actually, whatever you said was starting to come. Uh, like it's going to happen. Like uh, my sister got the opportunity to uh, teach at the Sunday school. So like God is oh, using yeah. us uh, amazingly. <laughs> And what did you say you were doing? I'm doing pastor serving. Okay. So your your first step in serving God has already begun. Amen. And I didn't know any of this. I did. I, I did. I, all I did was just look. I'm, I'm see. I'm looking for people with faith. I'm looking for people who are who are connected. Who who are saying, God, I want more. I want to connect with this ministry. I want to connect with the grace that is coming through the Yahweh's right now. I want to connect with the anointing of God. And this is the result of you connecting. So I will be seeing you soon to whatever church you come. And uh, certainly your ministry, your life, your change has begun right at this moment. Amen. Amen. Awesome. I want to speak to William Thomas. Can we have William Thomas on the screen, please? Hello, sir. You have to unmute yourself. Yes, Pastor. How are you doing? Oh, fine, fine. Where do you connect from? I'm connected from Hyderabad, India, South India. Okay. When I looked at you in the realm of the spirit, I see, I see you as a, as a man after God's own heart. Amen, amen. I see you as a man seeking for the things of God. I see you as a man pursuing God. I see amen. you as a man seeking the will of God. I see amen. you as a man hungry for the things of God. 
I see you as a man wanting to serve God. I see you as a man who wants who wants to be the hands and the limbs of God. I see you as a man looking for the kingdom of God. William Thomas. Amen. You are marked by God. Amen. Thank William you, Thomas, Jesus. you, oh. the eyes of God are upon Amen. you because God sees your heart, William. Amen. I see you. Lord. I see you in, in the nation that you are in. I see you reaching out to the poor. I see Amen. you reaching out. I see you like in street oh. evangelism. I see Amen. you going out to people on the street and speaking about Jesus. Yes. I see you reaching out to poor people. In particular, I see you reaching out to men and saying, this is who Jesus is. This is what you are called to do. You are an evangelist. You are marked Amen. and chosen by God. And as you Amen. begin to serve the kingdom of God, your challenges with your finances, your challenges with your prosperity, your challenges in, 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 in monetary things will begin to change. So I declare Amen. and decree as a result of being on this meeting, that things are changing for you, William Thomas. That God is with you in your living room, wherever you are now. That the power of the Holy Ghost under the unction of my voice is entering your room now. The atmosphere of God is increasing. That, that you are sensing a fire of God. And that the anointing of God is upon you right now. And I release the power of the Holy Ghost. As Saul came into contact with Jesus, as Peter came across the Holy Ghost, May the power of the Holy Ghost touch you right now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet and may the fire of the Holy Spirit come upon you right now and may you be baptized in the power of the Holy Ghost. May you speak in unknown tongues and may you be able to do things that you never did before William Thomas because God is with you. God is for you and God will fight for you. God will go before you and God will speak for you William Thomas because God is in your room right now. There are angels with you, William Thomas. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare and I decree this, that your life will never be the same again. Right now, the floor, the place you stand on is as a fire. The ground you stand on is like fire. And the Spirit of God and the angels of God are with you, William Thomas. And everything that you could not do from this day onward people who looked up down upon you people who rejected you people who laughed at you are going to have a different perspective about you William Thomas as a result from this day on when they see you from tomorrow onward they will say this is not the same William Thomas this is not the same man we spoke to because your your voice your oratory skills are about to change and everything that's within you is going to be see you're going to see change from within in Jesus' mighty name, I declare and I decree this, William Thomas. Amen. Amen. Would you be kind enough to tell me, sir, why would I be saying all that? I just want you to encourage the people listening. What does all this mean to you? Whatever a prophetic, uh, these words you said, uh, uh, Pastor Edwin, is really true. Very true, prophet. Because my heart's desire inside to serve the Lord in full fledged and uh, as you said uh, means many people are uh, criticizing me looking at me low all this whatever you said on this platform is true and I believe it whatever you said that my life will not will be the same again I receive that prophetic word and I go levels to different dimensions Hey, come on, give praise to God. Thank you, praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Amen. Youth, if you don't catch this, someone else will take it. If you don't catch this, someone else is going to take this. Connect with the anointing. As the worship continues, do you want to say something? So? The pastor, yeah. The words of knowledge that I said about the computer games. Yes, pew me. Tell me. 
Yes. Yes, Piyumi, speak to me. You will have to unmute yourself. Would you get your mic closer to you? If you're using a mic or your device closely, we can we can faintly hear you, Piyumi. Will you speak up? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yes. I want to uh, my school, uh, uh, oh, the Could you repeat that, Piyumi? You were a bit unclear. Mm. He said the phone. I want to believe that. All right. So I'm going to pray for you right now. So, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, this addiction of video games, addiction to the computer, Father, I release her right now in your mighty name, Father God, that every addiction is broken. The long sleepless nights that she has, Father. Lord, from tonight, the radical change, Father God. I ask for a turnaround, God. I ask for this turnaround that she will get rest. She will get sleep, Father. And it is broken from today. It is broken. It is finished in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Piumi, for responding to this. We bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Can we have a Megan online? Megan? Okay. Hello. I can't hear you. Has it? Nope. I, we can't hear you, Megan. can see you but we cannot hear you let you unmute yourself again it shows us mute oh I think there's a problem either most probably no we cannot hear you Megan so we'll come back to you and uh, I just want to reach out to someone else. Don't worry, we will come back to you, Megan. Once you sort your problem out, God's eyes are on you. Rajini Amara Singh, I want to speak to you. Hello, you would unmute yourself. Uh, hello, Pastor. Do you? You understand English, Rajini? Yes, yes, I understand. Awesome. So you're connecting from Sri Lanka? Yes, I am. Awesome. What? What are you asking God? But before you answer that, let me tell you. Rajini? Yes, Pastor. It may look like your life is, um, how should I say this, isolated, lonely. You may, you, you may, you may look and feel like that. You may sometimes feel like There is not much happening around you. As much as someone like you must experience. 
you, you may feel that you are alone but i want to tell you that it is not true because today the eyes of god are upon you rajini are you, are you are you married no still not so this is why i i've been telling you you may feel like you are alone you may feel like the years are passing by you may feel like there's so many challenges ahead of you but as a result of me calling you out as a result of me speaking to you everything that has been slow in your life everything that has been dormant in your life everything that seems to be stagnant and not moving in the name of Jesus i command i speak i declare and i decree that there is speed added to your life i speak speed into your life i i i command and i call forth people into your life people that who will love you people who will stand for you people who you can trust and i declare and decree that your life partner will be found and that you will be established and that your life will be complete and fulfilled in the mighty name of jesus i declare and decree i speak i speak prosperity into the place that you work in i speak promotions i speak a lifting i speak a, 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 a dimensions and levels for you that you will rise that you are going there's a change happening this night in the realm of the spirit and in the coming days and weeks that you will hear good news of promotions and increments and that things are about to change that you never saw before in the last 6 months in Jesus name i declare and decree this amen okay do you want us that's okay is megan uh, megan are you ready Why can't we hear you? I think the problem is with your device, Megan. We can see you clearly, but we cannot hear you. Huh? No. Actually, we hear only a, a very uh, uh, small whisper. So maybe it's the device that you're connected. If it's a headphone or a or is your mic or it it maybe is not connected probably maybe you got to remove it and re reconnect it because we just hear a slight whisper but your video is very very clear so we will come back to you megan once you have a better connection so as the worship continues we have a little more time and i will try to move through this as fast you are the same thing pastor so so guys as you continue in worship I want you to connect I want all of those online to connect to this anointing I want to pray there was a sick person called Jacinta Are you can we have Jacinta online Hello Jacinta Are you able to speak is there anyone with you there There is no one with you Jacinta Let me just pray for you because I think you are thank you on a bed from, from what I see yes god so father in the name of jesus yes. whatever that is holding down jacinta father in the name of jesus holy spirit of god enter the room right now father your angels may they minister to jacinta in the mighty name of jesus Father I speak life into this body right now. Amen. I speak resurrection power into the body of Jacinta right now. May her limbs begin to move. May her body begin to move. May strength begin to come into her limbs and to her muscles God. Father I come against every sickness that is holding down Jacinta's life right now. I come against everything that is not of God in your life just in the right now. I break every chain. I break every power of the enemy right now over your life. I speak healing from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet Jacinta. May the healing power, may resurrection 
and power. May the power of the Holy Ghost come upon you right now and may strength return to your body. May your limbs receive strength. May your body receive strength. May your mind be free of everything that the enemy has placed on you. In the name of Jesus, I speak healing. Even as this service is over, even as you wake up tomorrow, may you rise up with strength, with new energy, with a new feeling and may there be a radical change in your life and in your body. In Jesus' mighty name, I declare and decree this for the glory of God. I'm just looking for people with faith. I'm just looking. I'm just looking. Can I have Abhishek on the screen? Hi, Abhishek. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hello. Hi. All right, Abhishek. What do you want God to do for you today? Uh, a little guidance for my future, like uh, about a career path and uh, about my future. What are you uh, doing right now? Because, uh, because I'm unemployed at the moment. Okay. So, what is your line of work? Uh, I was uh, doing accounting as a, a trainee. Uh, now uh, I'm looking to get into real estate side because uh, the professor to speak to me uh, about real estate. And, uh, he said my grace is in the real estate. I need like uh, guidance to like get into it and uh, all right if the prophet of God has directed you already you have received confirmation that is what you need to do so we will pray today if you believe with me and agree with me we will pray that things will not tarry that things will be quickened for you and employment will be yours soon so Abhishek in the mighty name of Jesus, as prophet has spoken real estate into your life, I call forth things in the spirit realm that things will not tarry Abhishek, that things will quicken for you and employment that will be caused that will come to you at the very sound of my voice. Things have already taken place in the spirit realm. So believe Abhishek, that today is your day and things are not going to delay anymore. Things are quickened in the spirit and you will find employment soon in the mighty name of Jesus. And there will be a mighty testimony that's going to come out of you, Abhishek. Believe it and receive it. You are not rejected. You are not alone. You are not a failure. You are more than able in Christ. You are more than able. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bless you. Can we have uh, Mihidini online? Mihidini, that's right. Megan, we are coming back to you in case you have forgotten. I just want to speak to you, Megan. I don't know why I'm pursuing you. Hello, Mihidini. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, yeah. You speak English or Sinhalese? Uh, I can speak English. Awesome, Vidini. Vidini, how young are you? Uh, I was 14 years old. Vidini, when I look at you, in the realm of the spirit, I see you. You're just 14. I don't know at what stage and age your studies are or, or what your ambitions are or what you want to choose as a career. 
I don't know what your financial standing is but let me encourage you by saying from where I see you in the realm of the spirit let me tell you where I see you when you are 21 where I see you when you are 22 would you like to know yes yes Mehdini, I see you. I see you graduating. I see you graduating. You know what graduating is? You know, when, when you do an MBA or, or whatever, yeah. you know, you, you wear this cloak and, you know, you throw your hat and you jump around and you celebrate with your family and you do all this stuff. Uh, and because that's, that's just one feather in your cap, so to say. But here's the problem. Even though you want to do that, and you want to achieve that your finances are a challenge yeah it is your finances that the problem is with your finances you you don't even want to ask your father you don't even want to ask your mother but it's a desire in your heart to reach the pinnacle in life yeah that's right does it make sense can i prophesy yeah. Because no matter what you choose to do in life, you will you will prosper because you are a smart girl. Amen. You, you, you are not just one this run of the mill, you are smart even right now. Even even in your class, I'm certain that your 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 ranking in your class is at some stage, it is not at a low, it's at a high ranking. Does it make sense? Yeah, yeah, yes. Because you are a studious person. You, you, are, you are a person with a lot of wisdom. You are a person with a lot of insight. You are a person with a lot of discernment. Because you don't th take things for face value. You know, if someone tells you something, and you know, it's like, you know, you will go like, hmm, let me think. Because that, that's the discernment you carry. Even, even your parents sometimes listen to you because of the discernment you carry. Because, you know, you can tell Ammi, Tati, you know, Dad, Mom, you know, I, I, I don't think uh, that's a good idea. I don't think uh, that's the right thing. <laughs> Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah. You respond, I will speak. That, because that's who you are. Have you got any other siblings in your family? Uh, yeah, I have uh, one brother and one sister. So who is the eldest? Uh, my sister is the eldest one and second one is my brother. I'm the youngest one. Even though you are the youngest, the volume and the, the capacity that is in you is extremely high. <laughs> I would say you are a smart cookie. For the lack of another words, uh, you are the you are the talkative one. You are the, the the forward one, even though you are the youngest. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah, you're correct. That's that's correct. And you 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 are the tomboy, so to say, of the family. <laughs> you are the one who wants to do all the naughty stuff, even though you are the youngest. <laughs> Because I see you as being extremely adventurous. I see you as outgoing. I see, I see you like in the outdoors. I, you know, you would, you would do things sometimes that boys only would do. Yeah. yeah. I was. Is that correct? Yeah, you're correct. I was. I was. You was, but you are still. Yeah. Yeah. I was, yeah. Awesome. So, your entire life is ahead of you. Yeah. And God has amazing plans for you. Hallelujah. Thank you. I see, I, I see the IT sector. I see, you know, you, you, you can do things that very few people will put their hands into. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You are a young lady, but you can do things that young girls will fear to tread. 
they will not want to go and do that kind of thing. For example, if you take engineering, very few young people are venture into engineering. But you will do something completely the opposite. Because you, you are not into girly girly stuff. You, you want to do tough stuff. You want to do stuff that, you know, that men do. That real men yeah. do. Yeah. You get it? I'm correct. Definitely. Most certainly I'm correct. <laughs> so me, so I said so much about you. So, in time, by the time you are 21 to 22, you will see what I have spoken about. You will see. By the time you are 18, this which was prophesied will begin to show itself, will begin to materialize. And uh, there will be little signs of what I have said coming to pass. So work towards it. Prepare towards it. God has an amazing future prepared for you. Be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you. Thank you so much. Megan, you there? I don't know why I keep pursuing you. Let's do this one more time and hope it works. Hello, Pastor. Oh, we can hear you. Finally. Wow. Yeah. Now we, now you are really too. I can't see your face. Okay, now I can see you. You can hear us, right? Yes, Pastor. Oh, we can see your beautiful face. Amazing. Thank you. Finally, so this is what you call pursuing God, or at least I know when I see you that God has something for you, that God ain't going to let you go tonight without hearing Amen. from Him. So, Megan, I said so much about people. I want to say, I want to tell you, when I look at you, Megan, don't dwell on the past. Don't worry about what has happened. Don't be sad, Megan. Don't cry over spilled milk, so to say. Don't keep thinking of the messes that have gone by or the messes that, you know, you know the things that have happened. Please. Because God is talking from a place that you have not seen yet, Megan. God is speaking from a place that you have not walked into yet, Megan. The Holy Spirit is talking from a place that, that you, even if I tell you, you will not believe it, Megan. For the Spirit of God is with you right now in your room. The power of God is present upon you right now. So Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, touch my daughter, Megan. Touch this young lady, God, where she sits right now, God. May she feel your presence right now, God, in this place. May she feel the power of the Holy Ghost upon her right now. As I felt God, the fire and the love of God coming upon me, God. Father, I release the anointing from where I am right now. May she sense it. May her hands, may fire go through her hands, God. May electricity flow through her body, God. And may she feel the love of the Holy Ghost. May she feel the power of the Holy Ghost. May she feel the embrace of the Holy Ghost. So mighty Holy Spirit, touch Megan, right now, right now, may her atmosphere in her room, God, begin to change right now. May it be charged. May she sense fire under her feet, God. May she feel your presence, God, right now. May she feel something on her head flowing from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Megan, I declare and decree to you. I prophesy. That this is not the land that you will stay in. This is not the land that you will continue to live in. This is not the land that God has planned for you. But I see you in another nation. I see you going to another nation. I see you doing greater things in another nation. And this is not that nation. I say this very rarely to people. But it is not. This is not the place for you to excel. This is not the place for you to exceed. This is not the place where you will prosper. But God will take you. He will take you to another nation. 
and God will bless you. It will be a nation where probably you have relatives. It will be a nation where there are people who are that are known to you. And God will make that way, Megan. In the name of Jesus, I declare, I decree that doors will open for you. That 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 there will be a place where even through higher education that, that the universities will accept you. And that there will be an opportunity for you to excel and exceed in what you do. In Jesus' mighty name, I declare and decree this. Megan, tell me, how young are you? I'm uh, 21 years old. Because see, you're 21 years of age, but what you want to achieve in life has still not been achieved. What you wanted to do in life has yet to be, is, you, because you don't, you're sad because you don't see anything happening. But as a result of this meeting, I speak a radical change into your life. I speak the revolution. I speak a change, an instant change that you have been shifted from where you are right now in the realm of the spirit to the place that you want to be. Megan, tell me, what, what I said, what does it mean to you? What does it mean to you? If there is any truth actually, in what I said. Actually, on 2nd January, uh, Prophet prophesied me regarding like, uh, I'll be in Australia in about like three to four years, like, and uh, I'll be doing interior designing there and attending to a university as well abroad. See, I'm reiterating, I, I mean, come on, everybody. I'm reiterating, reiterating what Prophet has already told you. Because to be honest with you, I was seen in Australia, but I didn't, I didn't tell that to you. So if Prophet has said it, it is done and dusted. So Megan, don't be sad. This is the reconfirmation. In case you doubted Prophet, in case, just in case, you had a doubt in your life that this ain't going to work for me, here comes another man of God and says the same thing to you. And how awesome is that? Megan, your life will never be the same again. Jesus loves you too, so much. How many times I waited to get you on screen? How many times I wanted just to speak to you? Because I knew God had a word for you. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are favored. Everything that has been prophesied shall and will come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Megan. Okay, let's, it's time for another song and, and we are running late. But let's see if there is anyone else that God wants to speak to. And uh, if not, we will move on and we will close the service. Pastor Fikert, I hope I pronounced your name well. Can we have him on screen? Hello, sir. Can you hear us? Hi. It's an honor to have you watching with us and even though it's a youth service here you are <laughs> I, I'm young adult <laughs> <laughs> okay I know I, I know what it's like I know I know what it's like so I just want to honor you and say hi uh, I have not I seen you at the miracle dome and all but I've never been able to you know come speak to you one-on-one uh, -on -one, but it's a great honor to have you uh, together with your daughter I didn't know who that was and uh, it's, it's, it's great to have you connected oh, with all. I mean, I, I'm certain you will do amazing exploits in Malaysia together with your daughter. And uh, you will be, a, you, both of you will be a force to reckon with. And uh, I've seen how hungry you have been for the things of God and how you follow my spiritual father. I've seen, you know, how, how, how crazy you have been for God. Let's put it that Amen. way. You are a crazy man. <laughs> you are crazy. Yeah, and you know, and you know, so God will do crazy things through you. He'll do crazy stuff to you. So, Pastor Fikert, thank you for being online and, and uh, joining you. our live stream. We love you so much. You. We'll see you again. We'll, we'll, we'll be there soon. <laughs> okay, Pastor Sue, you got anything to say to anyone? Not at the moment. So, we'll have some worship now. So, worship team, over to you.
Lord, I bow before your holy throne, pouring my heart to you. We have uh, Lisa Sirimana online. Lisa, where is Lisa? I'm certain she's. Hello, Lisa. Oh. We can, can hear you. Hear where did you go to? There you are. You can hear us. Yes. You speak English. Pastor. You understand English, Lisa? Yes, Pastor. Awesome. Where are you connecting from? 
from Sri Lanka. Kadana. Lisa, how young are you? I'm 15. My name is Shahir. I'm connecting for my mother's oh. account. So next time you must connect from your account. <laughs> okay. That's okay, but I looked at your face, not your mom's. So that's why you're here. So what's your name again? Shahiri. Shahiri. Shaheli, yeah. Okay. When I look at you, as young you are, as young as you are, in the realm of the spirit, are, are you connected to any of our churches? Yes. Which I'm one? Rock City Church. Oh, right. I've actually spoken to Pastor So. Okay. So when I look at you, I see you in the realm of the spirit. There will come a day and time in your life that you will encounter God in a very powerful way. There will come a day and time in your life where you will, you will take leadership in youth ministry. There will come a day and time in your life where people will begin to realize and to see the potential and the grace and the favor that you carry. There will come a day and time in your life that people will listen to you because you will carry a voice, a voice that will carry authority, a voice that will carry leadership, a voice that will, that will lead people to Christ. In addition to your musical ability, do you play any instruments or do you have an idea of playing something? Is there, is there anything that you would like to learn? Yes, I'd like to learn guitar. So we have an amazing worship team here. Some of them are from Avlock City. And maybe one of them can teach you and maybe you can connect with them. I mean, most of them have been connected to the ministry and they have come for youth meetings and God has blessed them through the, pro through the prophetic and now they're here. So as you, as, you, as you connect to this service, the desire, you have a desire in your heart to serve Godly. You, ha you, you have a wanting, you have a liking. And what you see happening here, what you see happening in youth ministry is something that you so desire. It's a, it's a desire. And it's the desire that God sees and that God will empower, raise and bring out the leader, leader that is in, in, in you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Yes, Pastor. By the time you're closest to 18, you will see all of that which I said and prophesied coming to pass. You will see. You will see it happening. And God, God will use you. So you know my daughter Shania. Yes. Are you close with her? I've talked to her a few times only. On okay. So you will see God in your life in a great way away are you the only sibling in your family or is there more no i have a younger brother is your dad with you he's upstairs yeah. that's okay I, I just want to know if he's in the family so i pray for your dad right now even as i stand with you i'm praying for your dad because i see that need I see that want because I know you pray for your father I know that you cry out for your father I know the heart pain that you have about your father in the realm of the spirit the Lord shows me you're dead so today today together with the team here and with you and your blessed mother Father, in the name of Jesus, 
I pray for her precious Father God. I pray for healing of his body. I pray for healing of his mind, soul, and thoughts, God. I pray, Lord, that he will come to know you, recognize you, embrace you, walk with you. I pray, Lord, that he will come to know Jesus. I pray, God, that everything that is holding him back, every force of darkness that blinds him, like Saul, God, that the scales will fall off his eyes and that he will come to know Jesus, that he will come to know the Holy Spirit of God, and truly God, that you will raise him and empower him, that his finances will improve, that his prosperity will improve, and all his family seeks God, that his temperament will improve, and everything he so desires, God, in this family, that what this family needs, that there will be peace, harmony, and joy, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare and decree this over your lives. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. Would you like to say something? Why did you cry? Why did you, why did you get emotional when I spoke about your father? Why, what, what does this mean to you by me calling you up on the screen and telling you all this? Just like, that means so much. Family should be you know going on since i was small there's always been an issue between my father and my mother and like i've never been close with him i never got the chance to like i always had like the wish in my heart hopefully he'll maybe come to a service one day or maybe look at god and like you know receive him one day and hopefully stuff will get better and you can come that and i'm very thankful very thankful the whole purpose of me calling you on screen is because of your father. Because while God had his eyes on you, he also had his eyes on your father. I prayed for you and then I began to see your father. So today, there is change coming to your home. There is peace coming to your home. And God is in your home. Stay blessed. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Okay, there's another young man I want to speak to. I hope he's here. Where did he go? Okay, Kasun Sirimal. Let's say Kasun Sirimal online. Hello. Do I know you? Have I have you met before? Okay, before you say anything, hold on. So, you are from the uh, single ministry in Kasu? So, Kasu is from the uh, King's Revival or Glorious Church, uh, the single uh, youth ministry. And he tells me, I didn't recognize him, but he tells me that uh, I had apparently prayed for him. Uh, but why I call him up on screen is not to uh, pray for him again, but I called him on screen to to reveal something to him. In Kasun Mang, I will translate again. Mang over the katha kirewe Kasun over the yam kisindya ay di yali vata vakhi and mabo screen ne ka dekka vela be. Amata devi anwan se yam kisindya bal bagya penua mabe ka. But then, Kian Tama Mamma de Sudan on Bene Kasun Ogivaisaki the Kasun Mogade Tia Pastor, why is it here? How do you hear? Kasun Mangobatula Dakinoa Viapari Gay Blessing Nekak Metekal Via. Samana business Kalatino, Samana Deval Kalatino, eight take a Harrieta Sartha Kavila Nakila, Mother Atmikata Lepeno, Samara Deval Utsaka Latino, eight take a Adiki Nehata Gila Nevagi, eight obey the Vian Vansiki Kamet Salasuma, Bogaji Obavia Parake, eight Tulin, but Ashiva the Karanda. ए तुलिन ओबो नगंड, ए तुलिन ओबो सुवंड, इधर आदमे में सर्विस से के वह सिटी या निसा, हमें इलाज सिटना जेसुस वांसे के नामे, स्वामीनी आदर, 
ಕಸುಂಡ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶಕರನ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನೇ ಓಗೆ ದೇತ್ ದೇಕ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶಕರನ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನೇ ಓಗ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಯಾಗೆ ದೇಪ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಿ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶಕರನ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನೇ ಫಾದರ್ ಎ ನೋಯಿಂಟ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಕ್ರೌನ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಟು ದ ಸೋಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೇಟ್ ರೈಸ್ ಇಮ್ ಅನ್ ಎಂಪವರ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಮೇ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವೆಂಚರ್ ಮೇ ದ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈ ಡಸ್ ಮೇ ಮೇ ಹಿ ರಿಸೀವ್ a greater may you receive greater prosperity and favor in what he does in jesus name i ask all of this amen kasun mama mukadme kiyanne baba same mama mitra tamai struggle kar kar hiti ekama dana e kiyanne ganna bar ಮತ್ತೆ ಇದಾಗ ಬೆಳೆದುಬಿಡಿ ಏಕೆ ದೇವನಾಸಿ ಮಾವ ಸೇವೆ ಸೇವೆ ತೀರ್ಮಾನ ಪಾಸ ಕಥಾ ಕರ ನಮ್ಮ ಏಕೆ ಮಂದ ಇನ್ಶೂರೆನ್ಸ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ನೇ ದಂಟ ಎಂಪನಿ ಐಂಗ್ ಮನವದ ಹಿತಾಗನ ಬರು ಹೆಮ್ಮೆ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಮುಗುದ್ ಉತ್ಸಾಹ ವೆಡಕರ್ನ ಗಮಂ ಯಮಕಿ ವಾಗಿ ಒಲುವೇತಿನ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ಹೆಮೀಂ ಪಟಂಗ ವೆಡಕರ್ನ ಗಮಂ ವೆಡ ಸಂಪೂರ್ಣ ಅಥಾರ ವಾಗಿ ತವ ಸಹೋದರಿ ಕೌರ ಇನ್ನು ಅದು ಎಕಾಟಿಗೆ ವಾಯಸ ಕೋಮದು ಅಯ್ಯಟ ಅತ್ತರ ಪ್ರಭೇತ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಹಂಬೂನ ಪಾಸ ಉದೀಪ್ಗೆ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ಮೇವಿನ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಪಟಂಗ ನಮೂತ್ ದಿವ್ಯಾನಾಸೆ ತುಳಿ ಸಂಪೂರ್ಣ ಅಯ್ ಗುಣ ನಮೂತ್ ಅಪ ದಿಗಟ ಯಾಕರ ಮಮ ಅಂತಿಮ ಮೆರೆಕಳ್ಳಿ ದವಸೆ ದೇವ ಪಾಸ ಯಾಕರ ಈಟ ಪಾಸ ಸಾತಿ ಅತ್ತುಲ್ತಮ ಅಯ್ಯ ಗೆದ್ದರ ಆಗತ್ತರ ಅಪೆ ಅಯ್ಯಂಗಲ ಮಗ ಹಿಟಿ ಸಂಬಂಧ ವಾಟ ಏಕ ಗೊಡನಾಂಗುಲ ಏಕ ಗಿನಿಯನ್ ಪುಲ ಏಕ ತಮ್ಮ ದೇವಿಯನ್ನು ಆಸಕ್ಕೆ ಸಲಹೆ ಅಯ್ಯ ಮೇ ದಾಸಲ್ಲ ಗೊಡಾಕ ಉತ್ಸಾಹಕರ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಕರಪು ಕರಪು ಉಪ್ಪು ಅಸಾರ್ಥಕ ನಮ್ಮ ಏ ಕಾಲಿ ದೇವಿಯನ್ನು ಆಸಕ್ಕೆ ಮೇ ಸಭಾವಿಗತಿವರು ಏಗಲೊಂಗೆ ಪ್ರಪೋಯತೆ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಅನಿವಾರ್ಯ ಸಿಯಟ ಸಿಯ ಖಾರೆ ಇದು ಹಿಂಗ ಮಮ ಭೀತರ ಉಕ್ಕಮ ಪಾಸಸ್ ಲ ಉಕ್ಕಮ ಏಗಲೊಂಗೆ ಪ್ರಪೋಯತ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಆಪೆ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಬಾಗಿ ಆಪೆ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಯಾಟ ತೀನ್ನೆ ಏ ಬಾಗಿ ಮ ಇದು ಹಿಂಗ ಕಾಫ್ರಾರಿ ವಾಚನೆಯ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ಕೆರುವತ್ ಏಕ ಸಿಯಟ ಸಿಯ ಖಾರೆ ಈ ಬಾಯ ಬೆಂಡೆ ಬಾ ಪಾಸ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಮಡ ಕತಾಗ ಬುಲಂದ ಕಿಯಾನ್ನ ಓ ಮಮ ಪಾಸ್ ಉದಿತೆ ಕತಾ ಕರ ಏಕೆ ಮಮ ಪಾಸ್ ಉದಿತೆ ಕಿವೆ ಐಯ ಮೇ ಉನದ ಮಮ ಪೋ ಪ್ರತಿ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಕರ ಮಮ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಲಾ ಇನ್ನ ಹೋಗಿಲ್ಲ ಮಮ ಕದ ಐಯ ಟಿಗೆ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಗೆ ದಾಗ ತೇ ದಾ ಮೇ ಕಿವೆ ದೇ ಹರಿ ರೈಟ್ ಭೂಮಿ ಸ್ತುತಿ ಏನ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ 
for those who didn't understand what he said was I, I i told him that you know i see him struggling in with work i see him struggling and you know there are opportunities to do business and uh, uh, and uh, and he confirmed that you know he yes he had many ideas but uh, nothing really worked out and uh, i told him to start a business uh, uh, and to hand it over to a sibling while still maintaining his main job and he said that someone else another blessed pastor from a church had prophesied the same thing to his other brother to do the same and he confirms that so god is speaking and uh, and reconfirming uh, what uh, p and and giving guidance through the holy ghost to what should happen so as we go into another worship song we are almost done with the service uh, uh, let's see what god wants to do again in the next 5 or 10 minutes we will close the service and uh, let's take it so worship team over to you seasons in your hands you call for light out of darkness you don't need a man to be the God you are you have chosen screen please can you bring up leoma i think i pronounced that name right where are you oh there you go hello we can't hear you hello. Hello, okay Pastor. And now we can. So is your volume on? Yes. Okay. Yes, now, now, now we hear you loud and clear. You speak English or Sinhalese? English. Awesome. Leoma, how young are you? Twenty-one. See, I can ask these questions because this is a youth service. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can ask these questions because this is a youth service, so uh, I will not ask it from someone who doesn't look really youthy. Because you might be offended. <laughs> you might get offended. So, so I'm permitted to do this, just in case you are wondering. Awesome. So, Liam, are you are you connected to any of our churches? Yes, Nigambo. Nigambo. Oh, 
That's where the city of the Miracle Five. Dome is. Yes. Okay. So, Leoma, as the service continued and I looked at the screens, in the realm of the spirit, I begin to see you. I see you. I'm talking, I'm talking about your spiritual life. I'm talking about your calling and what God wants to do with you. This is what I'm speaking about. It's like I see you, I see you loving God's word. I, you just you just love the Bible. You love what God says. You 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 love what God, uh, the message that the Bible brings. And and I, and I I see you. It's 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 either a thought, or it is something that you should do. And and if you want to further your understanding about Christ and Christianity. And, and, and go deeper into the word of God. It's like I see you, I see you studying the Bible through in a seminary or you know, going to um, uh, you know, uh, a place that... Uh, <laughs> Bible college. Bible college. How can I miss that? I think I'm too excited. <laughs> uh, so, so I have my sidekick here who you know, will always stand for me. You know. I am blessed that way. So, if you want to further the understand, further the understanding of Jesus, and you know, go deeper, while you can learn it another way. But this is an idea or a thought, or you know, it, it crossed your mind. And if you so want to do that, if you so want to go down that road, God will, and you will, you can learn more while you can still learn through prophet. But I think in time to come. Uh, the glorious church will have is, is going to have its own Bible college. Amen. We are going to have our own teaching, uh, teaching seminars and all, all you need. So you will not have to really go out. It will all be under one roof in the Miracle Dome and in the other places. So our own syllabuses. And uh, uh, when that time comes, look at doing this. Look at learning what God says in, in His book. Because God will use you to preach the word. God will use you to teach the word. Okay. And you will okay. impact people. You will impact lives. And you, you, you will be a force to reckon with. Amen. Thank you. So this, this is the side to your spiritual life that I'm talking about. Thank you, Jesus. What, what does this mean to you? That's what I was asking you from God today. I was what's my kingdom purpose what's my kingdom purpose and that's the only thing kingdom purpose and straight away past us all past it all it's kingdom calling awesome so see i can only tell you what's in your heart so that the prophetic is it, it enhances already what god has deposited in you it, it magnifies what you already want to do and what, what is already placed within you. So I, I am, I'm just pouring a little more fuel into that fire. And now you will be on fire for God. So let me pray for you so that you will experience the mighty Holy Spirit, the greatest teacher, the writer, the influencer of the Bible. So Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, mighty Holy Spirit, touch her right now. Touch her where she sits. Touch her where she stands. Father, in the name of Jesus, fill her with wisdom. Fill her with revelation. Fill her with power. Fill her, God, with the Spirit of God. And Father, raise and empower her. May she impact and influence lives that will come across her. Another gem in the kingdom of God. In Jesus' name, I ask all of this. Mighty God. Mighty God. In case you, in case you wanted to go overseas, I would, I would say no to that. <laughs> Why? Why are you laughing? Uh, I was having a chance to go to New Zealand 
and all funded and everything and it was getting to a spawn and then um, I talked to Master Amant and through him I, uh, he said not to and then uh, everything aligned and then from that onwards I took the decision and I am not going until God says okay until that I will not now <laughs> thank you Pastor <laughs> God is good. God is with the reconfirming things. You said Pastor Amanda told you that. Yes. I told you. Every servant in this ministry is anointed. Amen. Every minister who comes under Prophet Jerome, my spiritual father, is anointed. We are under that grace. So any word that comes from them is good. It's a, it's a good word. It's a good word. It's a good word. So God will prosper you in this country. Very rarely I tell people not to go. <laughs> very, very, very rarely. And uh, this is your place. This is your country. Because it is here that God will use you. It is here that God will prosper you. And even as I say that, even as I speak about prosperity, I see you, the ability for you to do to be an entrepreneur most often people will work for others but see I see an ability for you to be your uh, entrepreneur to do your own thing it could be garments it could be it could be textiles it could be it be it could be anything on those lines and I don't know what I'm saying here right now <laughs> but in the realm of the spirit I see you having the grace to have your own place it's like a shop I see garments but I don't know if that's really where you want to go down with yes <laughs> yes what is yes. yes what is yes uh, <laughs> everything even prophet said i was doing teaching i'm uh, um, i was doing teaching and then uh, when prophet uh, was talking to my family uh, I was telling Prophet that Prophet, I'm teaching, and then Prophet, uh, you're more than a teacher. Uh, you're to management. So, so that today, today I took a decision, and I I was working as a teacher for my aunt in the school, and I took a decision, and I talked, and I told her that. I won't be able to come because according to Prophet, I'm into management, so I have to uh, go in that path. So I have to pursue that. So, uh, so today I took that decision. Now uh, I'm going for a pattern making class. I did a fashion design course. Oh. <laughs> but now God is aligning everything. <laughs> Because I can, I, I can see you in a shop and I'm, I'm a little uncertain that's why I, I can see you taking hangers I can see you moving garments and I'm trying to I'm trying to put into perspective what all this means and, and for me I I have realized that I want to I want to own something I want to do something my own I want to be an entrepreneur and then I want to do something my own, but thank you because you confirmed everything, everything I want. So this is what you call amazement, church. This is what you call, she's in amazement at what God is saying to her through me. And again, in alignment with Prophet Jerome, what grace is this? Oh, what grace is this? Put your hands together, church. We are under a ministry that is filled with grace. No matter who stands here, that they will prophesy in accuracy as, the, as our spiritual father does. We are sons of Prophet Jerome. Amazing. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. I have come to realize now that when you bring someone on screen, that more is revealed. So it's, it's something that I learned a little too late. So maybe next time we are here, we might be able to bring almost everyone on screen and 
prophesy direction and do all this stuff but we are running short of time so we're going to go into one more song and i'm just going to see if i can identify anyone else that god wants to speak to and uh, uh, we will end the service from there it's late so almost 12 o'clock back here in sri lanka and some are still online so let's do this in 10 minutes we'll be done uh, let's see if we can help any more people uh, but i want you to connect you you must want this you you must seek this you must hunger for it so worship team as you lead them in There one more song is no like you no one else can touch my heart like you lady on the screen Sh- Shania Mendes Hello Can you hear us Hello pastor You look shocked <laughs> Why It's as if you've been saying God I want to talk to this man I want to talk to them you got to you got to do this tonight Yes, pastor. Why are you in amazement? <laughs> I didn't think that uh, like God will um make my desire come true today. Well, 
That's why he's called God. You know, he looks at the brokenhearted. He knows who is in pain. And he knows who needs to be sp spoken to. So how young are you, young lady? I'm 14, Pastor. Oh. So you are younger than my youngest daughter. Yes, Pastor. Do you know her? Yes. What church do you go to? Uh, I go to have love. Oh, right. Have I prayed for you before? Uh, you've talked to me before. So look, Shania. So why did I, why, why, why did I uh, bring you on screen? I just want to pray for you. I want to declare things over you. I want to decree things over you. Because what I say and what I do and what I prophesy now will bring change to your life. Because right now you are not experiencing anything that I'm about to tell you right now. When I look at you, young lady, in the realm of the spirit, I see a guitar in your hand. I see a guitar in your hand. I see this grace of playing this guitar and the songs and the singing that are, that are in you. You have this gift and it is in you. Is that true? Why yes, first I play the guitar. Let me prophesy. Let, let me see me. Let, let me do what I love doing. I love changing lives. And Shania, you are meant, you are a worshipper. You are meant to be a part of this worship team. You are meant to worship God. But there are things that are holding you back. There are things that are, that are pulling you down. There are things that are restraining you and obstructing you from, from you reaching your God-given goals. Because there is so much of talent in you. I see you great with your, with, with, with your rhetoric skills. It's like uh, in your school, it's like, uh, like you're doing speech and drama or something, you know, you, 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 you uh, debating or something on those lines where you talk. And, you know, I, I see you sp standing up and speaking to people and, and you, you are good with your words as, as you are great with your guitar. Does it make sense? What am I rambling about? Tell these people uh, who I, don't believe. I do debating. Uh, tell them. I see you. I see this young, amazing lady in front of me. And I, as I look at the screen, I also see you in the realm of the Spirit. I see you. A powerful vessel for God. See, because God is raising up a new generation. He's raising up a generation that will serve Him with power, in might, and in truth. God is raising a generation that will walk with the power of the Holy Ghost. God is raising a generation that will worship in spirit and in truth. God is raising a generation that will put the devil to shame. God is raising a generation that he can use mightily on the earth to declare and proclaim the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God is about to do something amazing in this generation as you see now. For the glory of God. Shania, you are chosen. Many are called. Few are chosen. You are chosen. But there are, there are, there are so many things that you have to let go. There are so many things that, that bother you in your mind. There are so many things that tell you, Shania, you can't do that. There are so many things that tell you, no, Shania, you ain't going to achieve that. There are so many things that say, Shania, no, 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 no. You ain't worthy to do that. There are so many things that say, Shania, no, you, you will not reach the place that, that God has prepared for you. It, because the battle is in your mind, Shania. The battle, the challenge is in your mind. And the moment you have a, a focused, renewed mind and you know that God is for you and not against you, and the moment you realize that God is about to do amazing things for you, and that God has prepared a, a platform for you, Shania, you will know that, you have to, you, that, that one day at a time that God will use you and you must work towards that. Don't 
don't give in to the enemy don't leave the world be a part of it but but don't get you know embroiled with it you know enjoy life but still focus on the things of god so today you said you you never expected that god will see you but god has used me he has used my prophetic eyes to locate you and to tell you to speak to you and to, to tell you things that i never knew about how would i know all this is through the i see you through the eyes of god and god looks at you with all his love and he wants to use you mightily in the times in, uh, to come so be prepared be prepared how many how many more in your family shana uh, i have older sister <coughs> one older sister okay so your dad and your mom is it yeah oh right and my grandma so again my sidekick says you know uh, uh, she touches you know that's naptali's sister uh, that, that that's that, that's the young lady who you know who uh, who came and spoke to you all earlier i i didn't know see it's good that i don't know these things because if i speak from where i know then i will be you know talking in the flesh and see i i would have met you so many times and probably i don't know i don't know whether i said these things or not but you know so but it happens from a remote platform so probably this is to edify you so together with your sister who is here in the studios you will do amazing things awesome guys i wish so much thank you pastor oh god is amazing let me just look at the screens again and uh, we are about to close we are late there was one person here let me let me look at binu binu let's have binu on the screen i didn't see her before binu hello hello pastor how are you this evening i'm good i'm very good fantastic you are oozing with confidence <laughs> Where are you joining us from? I'm from Sri Lanka in Hamagam. Oh. Your name sounded Indianish. <laughs> And I thought you were from from our neighboring country. So what church do you belong to, Binu? I belong to Raffles Church. Sir. Raffles. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. How young are you, Binu? I am just 17 years old. Okay. So have you done your O levels? Yes, I'm just finished my O level. How are you with numbers? Um uh, uh not me not me uh not just uh, released um, resource pastor no but how, i'm just asking how are you with numbers in general how are you with uh, maths sorry pastor how are you with maths mathematics uh, it's very good i'm i'm done maths very good it's very this is why i'm asking easy. you easy you are you are you are amazing with maths yes I'm good at math. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm asking you. Because most of it's a subject when you ask someone they say, you know, even someone in the prophetic has a bit little bit of doubt because most often when you when you speak to someone with when you ask them about mathematics it's something that you know a lot of people fail. And a lot of people are really not good at that. But I see you as being really brilliant in that. And I see you I see you as as time goes by that you you the career path now I am not saying this because you said mathematics but the career path that you will take is is more on the commerce and the accounting side it, yes. it makes obvious yes. sense because It's that is, is it is already something that you have already planned for it's already something that you you want to do and you, you, you it's like you you want to be a top notch accountant you want to be yes. someone in the highest realm in accounting does that make sense to you yes it's true it's true it's it's exactly true it's exactly it's true my, it's my it's it's my dream 
It is it is your desire, is it? Yes, it's my desire. Well, God has just met your desire. And God yes. will do you you will be you you will be an accountant in a blue chip company or uh, Amen. Of, of your Amen. Liking. Amen. And, and you will you will be Amen. you will be the chief accountant of that company, and it it will oh, be a God, it will be it will be a company that is uh, not only connected locally but also internationally. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, I ask you that this desire of this young lady that you will establish her, that you will raise her, that you will empower her, and that she will be a shaker in the corporate industry, God. That she, Amen. that her, her prosperity will be beyond measure in God. In the mighty name of Amen. Jesus, I ask for this grace, God. Amen. I ask for this mighty Amen. grace, God, Thank upon you. this young Thank lady, you, God. And Benu, Thank you, even God. as God prospers you, and even as God raises you, I see God also using you. I see also God, Amen. God with you. And 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 I see a, as young as you are, I see a young counselor in you. I see you, I see you as a person where many can where people will come to you and tell Bino, you know, I'm having this problem and you know I don't know how to resolve this. And it's like the words that you speak to them are so comforting, you know, it's you know, people just gravitate to you, towards you. They, they just love you for who you are and for the smile that you exude and, and for your comforting words. So that's a grace that you carry, Bino, that probably that you have not recognized. Yes. Is that Amen. true? Is that yes, it is very true, Pastor. Okay. So, Bino, you are blessed. You are favored. I don't know if you're... And me. Does your father serve in church? No, no, actually not faster. Okay. I can say so much more, no, no, but not on this platform. So maybe when we meet. Okay. Love you so much. Take care of yourself. Until we'll see you again. Okay. My gosh, time is flying. There was someone here. I just want one last person. Pastor Sue, if you have someone, you can always interrupt me. And... Uh, Okay. Are these on the screens? Can we move the screens? Okay. Um, there was a couple, a husband and wife. I, I believe they were there. Where are they now? Can you go back? Sarah, it was something Sarangi and Monique or uh, where? Oh, there you go. S Let me try even try to pronounce that. So, can we have uh, Sarang? Did you get that? Ah, there you are. Hello, everybody. Can you hear us? Hi, Hello. Pastor. Yes, okay. Pastor. Hi. So, you are from Sri Lanka? No, we are from Mauritius. Oh, awesome. So are you your husband and wife? Yes. Mm. You have any kids? Not yet. Why is that? You're not ready as yet. We just got we just got married in December <laughs> last year, twenty twenty one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you connected to the church there? Yes. Okay. So when I call you up and when I look at you, I so I see you having the grace to serve in the church. I see you having the grace to serve in the young adults ministry. That means people of your age now right now we are, this is a youth meeting but uh, i see i see you having the opportunity and the grace to serve as in leadership in your church to impact and to influence people of your age and your stature and your standing so 
if you are not seen that are you involved in the what do you do I, i'm just rambling on and uh, uh, are you doing any I am in the worship uh, ministry. I am the worship minister. Okay. And your husband? He's on Okay, he's in the sound ministry for the time being. Okay. See I, I what I told you was I see I saw you serving in your church. I saw you in leadership. Yeah. And I didn't know that. But even as you as, as worship leader as you serve god and the kingdom of god god will raise you he will entrust you with more he'll empower you with more your husband may just do sounds right now but there will come a time and an age where god will use you to touch young lives through your worship and through the grace that he has god will use the two of you mightily in your church and you will you will impact a lot of young lives by your ministry by your ministry and even as i speak in the realm of the spirit i see a prophetic grace on the two of you when i say prophetic grace the ability to prophesy the ability to release words of knowledge not only on you but even on your husband He may not realize it he may not know it because it's behind the console but give him the opportunity to to pray for someone he will begin to speak to people and God will begin to reveal things to you so can I pray for you and as I pray for you yes. can I as I impart it to yes. that earlier couple and what you if you heard that testimony you will know what happened to them God will shift it to level so father in the name of Jesus father I pray right now that to the power of the holy ghost father that this family this couple that you will use them mightily god and that the prophetic grace the anointing they so require for ministry god i release it over them right now that they will do great exploits for the kingdom of god that you will open their eyes you will open their ears to the things of the spirit and god that they will worship you in spirit and in truth use them mightily god use them mightily god for the extension of your kingdom in jesus mighty name father i pray that even this young lady that the skills to write songs god to compose music god i release it over her right now that she will hear melodies from heaven that she will have knowledge of chords and and, and notes god in a supernatural way that she will write her own songs and even she will produce her own cds her own music i call it out of her out of this family may they produce their own music god in jesus mighty name i prophesy this i declare and i decree this god amen what is that mean to you you want to say something before i let you go yes i know yes yes you we can't hear you you're muted You have muted your You want to say something? You have mute Okay yes. now yes. No, now we can hear you. Go yes, ahead. Yes, since my camera is I was young, uh I was say uh, my adolescent I was said I would be getting songs from heaven, melodies from heaven. And I'm still waiting on that. Maybe God is already pouring his uh on to on uh, that unto me but to to write it and do it did you ever want to produce your own music or or or, or do a cd cd not cd but have melodies from heaven music writing yeah. melodies from heaven things will happen fast so i pray for a quickening over your life in jesus name thank you for joining amen Okay. One more person and let's close this. Otherwise Parami. Let's have Parami on land. I hope I got that name right. Thank you guys. 
Hello. You are muted. Hi. Where are you uh, logging in from? I'm from Sri Lanka. Oh. Do I know you? You look familiar. Uh, actually, uh, you release a word of knowledge at the beginning of the service. I actually lost my connection. And, uh, and because my package was over and I couldn't connect anybody from my family to, you know, to reload it. And I waited until 12 to log in too soon. And wow, I just wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. See, I told you, God will not let you go. He's looking. My wife kept nudging me, stop the service, stop the service, it's 11.30. You know, she says, it's your overtime, we got to finish. But God started just using me in the prophetic and I just, I just couldn't, you know, uh, you know, you know just, just time went by. All probably just for you, Parami. All just for you. And see, and I call you up. What are the chances of me just picking you up? At the last moment, it's God in. What did I say? What was that word of knowledge about? It was, I had depression and actually I was healed. But those thoughts came back to me and I was really ashamed. Thinking that I lost my testimony and I can't speak to anybody in my family because they are not safe. And I really didn't, I didn't want to them to know that I again have those thoughts. But yesterday I had a fight with them. Actually, I cried to God. I have never done it. And, uh, and my mother was very sad and she was also crying. I had never seen her cry. And uh, yeah, I, I had those thoughts, but uh, even though those thoughts was there, I, I didn't do anything because I I was something inside me which was the Holy Spirit was pulling me back and even though those thoughts came I just hold on thinking you know everything will be fine yeah. and I was ashamed to tell anybody not because of anything I gave a testimony to the church that I was healed and I stopped medication and when it comes back again it really hurts as if I let God down but I couldn't protect him. Thank you Parame, thank you. If this if if there is anything that came out of this service, this is worth it. It's just for you. God wanted this moment to happen. He didn't let us close this service. Before we came here to minister, we said, you know, we are going to close by 10.30. Then I, it went to 11 and we were debating as to what, what time that, that, so that we wouldn't go about time. But this is the perfect timing of God, Parami Ovila. What did I tell you? I said, is it, is it the suicidal word of knowledge? Is that uh, you said that I'm actually 19 years old, so it's basically I'm 20. And I told Lord, if somebody responds, I will drop a message. And I waited the first 10 minutes, and uh, I actually dropped a message to the testimony line. And uh, you know, since you spoke, I, I didn't want to ignore it. I wanted to tell that you know, even though it's kind of hard to tell anybody what's happening. But I knew that I have to come forward and, you know, to tell. But I never thought that I would log through Zoom because my connection was not stable until now. And I just, I thought of logging in. And uh, yeah, I didn't, I, I, I thought of doing it. So that I could awesome. be great. Don't worry. Don't worry. God has got you on your mind. Got you on his mind. He will never leave you or forsake you, Parami. As a result of you joining this service, supernaturally connecting after 12 o'clock, me picking you out of so many at the last moment, unknown as to what you have gone through. I come against everything that is not of God in your life right now. I release the anointing of God over your life right now, Parami. I release the anointing of the Holy Ghost right now. 
I impart grace over you right now. I come against every battle that you fight in your mind right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I break every chain that holds you back, Parami. I break every shackle that holds you back right now in the name of Jesus. And I loose you from the attachment of the enemy. I loose you from the grasp of the enemy right now. And I speak freedom into your life right now. I speak freedom into your mind right now. I speak freedom into your thoughts right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I speak freedom, Parami. You are free from bondage. You are free from every shackle you are free from the darkness that holds you back and you will carry your testimony god is if god is for you who can be against you parami who can be against you if god can orchestrate this moment if god can bring this moment into and and bring you on screen at the last moment you must know that god loves you beyond your dreams god loves you more than anything else parami because god is for you and god is about to raise you God is about to empower you and father God in the name of Jesus I assign angels over her right now I assign angels over her right now I speak to her mind I, I release her from every bondage I release her from every pain God from every suicidal thought I release her I speak freedom with your mind Param. you are free from suicide you are free from this thought you are free from depression you are free in the name of Jesus Father, I thank you. I thank you for her life. I thank you for the level she's going. I thank you for the grace she's carrying. And I thank you for freedom today. Spiritual freedom in Jesus' name. Amen. Parami, I want you to connect you to you, you know, to the leadership of Raffles Church. To Joe and Kezia. I, I, I normally go to Happy Church in Kalam. You are you come to Happy Church? Yeah. Okay. You can connect with my daughter. You must be knowing her, Shania. She will help you out. She will be with you. She will guide you. She will lead you. She carries the same grace that I have. She carries the same anointing I have. So you are in good hands. As God did an amazing change with us, so she so so did, she, did he do with Shania. She carries the prophetic in a deep grace and the anointing so you are in good hands she will help you i'm sure she's watching i'm sure she will connect with you after even after this service so don't worry we are there for you as a church thank you for joining not none of this everything that happened is not by mistake you must know that god loves you i picked you up at the last moment your connection went dead i released the word of knowledge see how god works because he loves you all because of never ending love parami. so congratulations don't worry you are free in jesus name okay it's time to go by the way you are watching us live from the glorious church we are the glorious church we are in this island nation of sri lanka you are watching from prophet jerome fernando platforms you are watching from an anointed source you are watching and you are logged into an anointing that is only increasing by the day. So to, to all of you who are logged in, connect with our weekly services. Come to our nation one day. Come to where the miracle dome is one day. Come and experience the power and the grace and favor. If you think this is great, come to one of our physical services and you will see God doing things uh, that will completely blow your mind away because this is this is nothing this is nothing the miracle dome is a 5,000 seater church close to Colombo come connect visit this nation visit this island come and be blessed you will encounter God in more ways than one and you will have radical change instant change in the name of Jesus Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining Prophet Jerome Fernando Ministries. Thank you for joining the glorious church. And thank you for joining this program. I'm sorry that we couldn't pray for everyone else. But there will be another day. There will be another time. There will be another pastor carrying the same grace, the same anointing who will minister you. Wait till my father comes. He will be here. And he will minister you again.
So thank you for joining us together with myself and Sue. We bid you good night here. Some of some of you it is morning back there, but it's been a great honor and privilege to to minister to you. I hope we have changed lives, and through this anointing, you will see amazing things happen in your life. So don't worry. You are in good hands. You are connected, and you are under the grace of this ministry. So until we see you again, bye bye from now. Bye bye to everyone. We'll see you again. Love you loads. What a magnificent time of year to express our gratefulness to God for all He has done through the partners as we experience each day the manifestation of Christ Himself in the hearts and lives of thousands this past year. Those are real lives experiencing real change, even total transformation are only made possible by your generous giving towards the various TV channels. Your sacrificial giving has enabled us to reach out to many in numerous ways through the various partnerships, be it the over the airwaves, extending a helping hand to the less fortunate through charity arm, or even towards the construction of the Miracle Dome. Many lives have been touched, healed, restored, and many more have come to know the Lord Jesus Christ. Without your heart of generosity and giving, these people would not have heard the goodness of God. Unilever, we had about 13 accounts in the first year. The business was formed and we grew. We were the first agency to win an award from Facebook. I think the only still, when a word comes from a prophet, nothing's impossible. During that time, a prophet, we were yet bigger. We shared one sandwich, a balance four, five hundred. I used to give the offering. In our business account, there was 1.1 million and I just zeroed the account uh, to KRC. This year is the highest income. Our TV Ministry Angel. As a TV Ministry Angel, you are partnering with broadcasting the Word of God through television networks across the globe. Sincere appreciation to the TV Ministry Angels that we are now on these platforms. Daystar TV, Roku TV, Apple TV, Miracle TV, Good News TV, TNL TV, PO TV, and View Media Satellite TV. To become a partner, visit www.prophetjerome.com slash partner.